<clears throat> I'll buy myself again. <laughs> Might as well look at stuff. Oh, I gotta fix my camera. So. Mm, there we go. Why the hell would it put me on 780? Okay. Let me go get my glasses. Uh, well, if nobody comes in, I'll have to do it as buy it now. Oh, give me a chance to look at these, too. Most of these I haven't seen in a very long time. A very long time. Oh, my gosh. There's that piece that's for Carol. Uh, some great stuff in here. Blue site. Someone did a sloppy job repairing them. They're still good. The bag. Where's the bag? Ooh. I'm going to turn this into a buy it now since no one's here. I'm not going to stop it. I'm not going to stop the video and then start recording. I'm already here. The jewelry is here. So we're just going to do it. Or I could wait. See if anybody shows up. These are nice. These are cool. What are these? I thought they might be Monet, but they're not. They're not. I think I had the bracelet to this.
Hey, Doris. I know I had the bracelet that goes with this somewhere. I kind of decided almost at the last minute to come on, so I'm hoping some people show up. If not, I'll do all by it now. Hey, Maria. Good afternoon. Hey, Kathy. It's been so long. How are you? It's been forever, girl. Yes, you have been away for a long time. I was kept waiting for you to pop up with a channel. Girl, I know things have been crazy, but still, I really thought you were going to do it. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Maria. Oh, these are nice. These are not marked Austrian, but they are. These are definitely Austrian crystals. I got these from Bruce and then never wore them. All right, we might as well start. Six is a good number to me. Oh, yeah, these are pretty. Look at that sparkle. Yeah, these are Austrian crystals. They're nice because they're copper. The back is brass. I hope the camera's better than last night. It was really super bad. I probably should have done this before I started, but let me see if maybe, just maybe, this is kind of dirty. Sorry, guys. Because it was really bad. Really bad. Oops, this belongs over here. So we'll start. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's difficult with family. You know, my niece went back. She's moved back with her husband and his mother. And I'm always for that. If the family can stay together, it's better for the children. And he is a good father and he loves her. And they, they just went through bad times. We all do. So I hope it works out. So the backs are brass. They're not marked. They're Austrian. There's no doubt they are. The body is copper. Look how pretty. These I cleaned real well. I had to do the ketchup thing. Let me open these so I can hang on to them. But the center are roses. I didn't even know that when I bought them. They were just, they were dirty. But these are gorgeous. Look at this. Yeah, those are Austrian crystals. Look at the sparkle on those. So you've got the dark, smoky, almost black ones and that brilliant orange. Oh, these would go good with my orange crystals. So, yeah, I, I'm going to be positive and say, yes, it's going to work out. And they're going to stay a happy family. He's real sick, too. He's just been going through it. Yeah, I missed you, too. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, I'm not going to lie. And, um... Yeah, I mean, it just takes time. And then with the jewelry, you just end up with so much stuff like me. I have, that's why I decided to do another one today is because, yeah, these are all prong set. These are super nice, super nice. And they're an inch. Gosh, that's pretty. I'm not second guessing getting rid of them because <laughs> they really go with my orange crystals really well. Yeah, exactly. He He's... Um, he's had issues, um, since a Pope and of course, because of that, they're avoiding him like the plague because they don't want to deal with that. It's really sad. It's, it's not just him. There's a lot of people in that boat. A lot of people. Um, oh shoot. I just lost myself. I hope y'all see me cause I'm not even, in, I'm not even in the picture anymore. I'm completely gone. <laughs> There, I'm back. I don't know. There's a dog hair on there. Okay, I'm going to start because what I paid for them. Yeah, it's bad because all of a sudden his heart went down to something crazy, like 40% function. His, you know, of course, that made his blood pressure bottom out. He had complete muscle weakness everywhere. Just bad. I'm going to start using what I paid. I bought these from Bruce over at Bruden's Treasure Chest. I cleaned them up with the intentions of wearing them. I've never put them on my ears. I didn't even know they were in this box. 
they go with these crystals. So these crystals, I can't do them inexpensively. Uh, I've got them sealed in a bag. Someone, I thought someone had bought them, but it was a misunderstanding. So I've just left them boxed up. Yeah, those are gorgeous earrings. I'm thinking they're going to match this crystal. Maybe not. These have a lot more gold in them. A lot more gold. But these are to die for crystals. Look at these things. Oh my gosh. These are these are just wonderful. Pretty sure these are claspless. Yeah, these are like something like 64 inches. I'm curious today. It's close, huh? It's close. So nobody's interested. I may just keep them. <laughs> I might just keep them. Yeah, these are nice. I was I was putting them up for what I paid at eighty five. They're incredible, beautiful. So there now I have jewelry on. Yeah, there now I'm now I'm dressed. Orange and blue's good. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I've seen some of this stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this stuff. This is so cute. Look at it. it's double. Once I get it unmarried from itself, it's double strands. I gotta check for all the rhinestones. Look how stinking adorable is that? Oh my gosh. Because it's mesh and then just the frames. Let me check to make sure all the little rhinestones in the middle of the flowers are there. This is adorable. Absolutely adorable. It's a fold over clasp. It's not signed. It's in great shape. Look how good the color tone is. That's got to be 50s, 60s maybe, like flower power, right? A fold over clasp. This is adorable. Too big for me. Isn't that the case? It kind of stinks having a little tiny wrist. It does. And then I had that. Um, I was excited because I got a Tiffany bracelet that was in one of the um, auction lots I bought. And it was too small. Can you believe that? Oh, good. It's a seven and a half. Yeah, a seven and a half. So it'll fit more people. This is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that. Part of it is um mesh and part of it is framed out. Look how cute. There's a little dot there. You know, some spots on that mesh are to be expected with the age. I see another spot there. Not bad for the age. It's actually in fantastic condition for the age. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'll start it low. Because there's not many of us. And plus, I know since I'm putting it back in the box. Because it'll end up in a lot on eBay. And I'll end up getting 4 or $5 a piece. And I'd rather sell them individually. But I don't have the time to do that many separate listings. That is so cute. I love that. That's sweet. <laughs> Everything's just too big. I wouldn't dare take links out of this. It's well made. Very well made. All the little circles in between. And the way it's riveted here. It's extremely well made. I like that one a lot. Add some brooches. Add some nice brooches. Isn't that adorable? Anyone watching this on the replay, I do honor my start prices. And only because I will be doing listings, I'm going to just leave these start prices good till this coming Sunday, the 16th at midnight. After that, I'm not sure I'll still have the piece. I mean, I may have it, but it might be boxed up. It might be already listed. I've been trying to be good and get stuff up. I'm doing EBIT and I'm trying to do the cheaper places. I bought this. And I thought, well, I can put this in my stick pen um, collection, but really it doesn't fit in any of my holders because it's double. It's lion heads with the chain detail. All of these that I'm pretty sure when I see this style that's not an antique, 
it's the 90s because in the 90s, there was that whole Annie Hall thing where everybody was wearing them at the top of their, like you'd have your, um, you'd button up your blouse and wear them at the top of your blouse. That was the thing. He's cute. He's cute. Um, I'm going to start these brooches low today because, again, I might as well try to sell this stuff. Rather, you go to you guys. Save me the time of listing it. And by the when you do a big lot, sometimes you do real good. Sometimes you do good. But a lot of times you end up getting, you know, four or five piece, uh, four or five dollars a piece. They've gotten better, I think, because vintage, true vintage is getting harder and harder to find. They have been doing better. I mean, you're getting something like six dollars a pound now for um mixed jewelry and it's not even like really good stuff the really good stuff yeah that goes for hundreds and hundreds hey ashley oh my god girl i haven't seen you in forever i think the last time i saw you was in um tanya's chat but i don't ever go in there because if i'm in there i'll end up bidding on stuff and i don't need any more sterling i love her stuff and i love tanya but i gotta stay out of there i see maria at three it's pretty huh i might thin out my stick pins i'm getting way too many i got a holder full upstairs two more holders full and then i got extras in the little vase head that i got from um new england um the new england thrifter i think she's i think that's the new england thrifter i'm gonna start calling this for marie i don't see any other maria excuse me i don't see any other interest on this oh here's the bag thank you maria honey isn't that the gold so i'm figuring this is probably from the 90s I didn't look to see if I had a mark. Sometimes if they're marked on the pen, run your nail over it rather than just look, look, look. You can find out real fast if it's got a mark on the on the clasp. Can't believe nobody wanted that little flower bracelet. That was to die for cute. Maybe it's too big for everybody like it is for me. And the price was certainly right. Where's all my little papers for writing people's names? Ooh, I found a cleaning pad. They have they didn't come today. So all this sterling needs cleaned. It's disgustingly dirty. All right, I'm gonna have to make some uh, paper tags real quick. Where did they go? Oh, they're on the freaking floor. <laughs> the wind got them. The wind got them. No, these have names on them for always going so everything is shipping, probably. Ugh. And I still got some people's stuff from last Saturday that waited because it was, um, they had like one or two items. Let me go get some paper. My house is still such a wreck. Those two weeks, I was so sick. It really took a toll on my house. The floors are awful. My room is a total disaster. I mean, a total disaster. And I got hair all over my floor. This room's a mess. My table's a mess again. Remember, I cleaned it off and made a video about it. I was so proud of myself. Well, it's a disaster again. But with Kelly and the kids moving, I'm taking that back spare room back. Um, it was just full of junk. It's almost cleaned out. And my husband built me a, because he does woodworking, he built me a nice big, hey, Gail. Who else did I miss? This Gail, hey, sweetheart. All right, this is enough for a little bit. I hope we use them all. All right, so we had Maria at three. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I was too far away. Plus, I was talking down. All right, that was $3. Okay, thank you, sweetie. Sorry for the delay, guys. But what else is new? These need cut. Okay. Uh, 
another one screams 50. All right, is this thermoset or is this enamel? What's enamel? Yeah, that's enamel. I haven't seen these in a while, so let me check it. There's no maker's mark that I see, but sometimes Kramer and those guys will put their mark way down here. I had a KJL once. The marking was way down here on the back of a on the back of a link. So check more than just around the class. Check every all of it because you never know. Okay, this is pretty. It's like that cold painted because it's got that matte look, and these are all enameled. There's no mark. This looks long, so it's probably, yeah, you're probably looking more into the 60s, 70s because of the length. Most of those 50s pieces are short. They're going to be 15, 16 inches. But you have longer ones, of course, but generically speaking, they're going to be short. Once they're longer, then you're looking older. But I don't think this is older. No. It's eight. Well, may just work with that clasp. It's about 17 and a half inches. That's pretty. Well, oh, this one, I'll just do five bucks. I should be, how many's in here? Nine. Let's just do buy it now. Anybody wants this? It's five bucks. 17 and a half inch. All the enamel is there. It's in great shape. Not a thing wrong with it. And it moves fine. It moves good. It's not, doesn't get caught up. Some of these do. Even my Lisner pieces still, they, they do that. They get caught up. Where's my Nick? I was using it last night. Oh, I, <laughs> she's over here. I had this mannequin. That's her torso. <laughs> so I have the whole mannequin. I see you, Kathy. Kathy's at five. I have the whole thing, but she's in pieces in that spare room upstairs. <laughs> so it looks like a murder scene. <laughs> when she was whole, I'd have to move her. She'd get in the way. Oh, that's pretty. And it's perfect for the spring. So if she wears white. That's going to look very attractive. Gold and white always looks classic, just like gold and black. You know, gold and white. Well, I guess a gold with any color, right? Pretty much. Thank you, Kathy. I forgot I made this bite now. I'm sitting there looking I'm like, what are you looking for? It's a bite now, goofball. Goofball. This didn't have a bag. Holy smokes, it's a big bag, but we're going with it. We're going with it. Well, she should like that. Your neck. Stay close by. I got necklaces today. I'm putting my feet up. I've been walking around, but I don't know. I need to guess talk to my doctor about um, my circulation in this right leg. I shouldn't have swollen up like that last night. I mean, I come on. I was only sitting for it was a total of almost four hours, but I had been up and down a few times. I just put my, I walked around a while and then I, when I went upstairs, my bed is, it, it sits up. It's one of those beds that the top moves and the bottom moves because of my neck and stuff. Yeah, it's a good idea to start early. People, so I, um, Christmas in July, I should probably do a Christmas in July. So anyway, I put my, I put my head down and my feet up because I remember it's like when your knee is, my knee swell. My physician, my old physician, he passed away a couple of years ago, which is awful. I've been with him like 17 years. I hate having this new doctor. He's very, it's like you're a number in the cog. He's part of, they're part of the system. Dr. Meyer was different. He was old school. You know, he actually knew me. So I just put my feet up. But if you put your heart lower than your knees or your feet, it, that's really brings your swelling down fast. Here's another necklace. Holy smoly, Batman. Okay. Oh, ow, I just banged my ankle. I dropped what I was working with. They're great. Well, the wedges, I have a wedge because I used to use it. I still will occasionally. This is hollow. This is three strands and then a tassel. I don't see a signature on this. It's very reminiscent of the, of the Monet's and the Trafaris and stuff, but this one's not marked. 
very typical tassel necklace. Tassel's offset. Yeah, it's made that way because this is this is pinned in. Hmm. Mm. This is in great shape. It is a spring ring. I don't know if I had to date this. I don't know, 70s maybe. That's in nice condition. <laughs> I don't know how to type. <laughs> we'll just stick with doing five bucks. This stuff is fine. Yeah, I find the smaller lots I do better. The smaller my group is, the better I do with this online stuff. So there's that one. I'm not going to take too long. There's not that many of us in here. And if you want it, you want it. It's not a guessing game. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, wow. These are gorgeous. Oh, they're signed, too. Look at these. And I'll look and see who it is. I think it's like that Leia. Or it's got a weird name. Leila, Leia, something like that. Look how gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Those are great. And make sure all the stones are there. I apologize for having to do this now. I usually, like with my sterling, I pretty much have looked at it. But I have a lot of this stuff I haven't seen in a very long time. Wow, I can't believe all of the rhinestones are there. And they're um, bezel set. Oh, I'm totally wrong. It's so lay. It's Solil, Solil, S-O-L-E-I-L, Solil. Guys, my hands, ah, this right hand goes to sleep. It's not, it doesn't feel numb. These are great. Aren't those pretty? Very pretty. They're clipbacks in good condition. I don't really know about the age on these. They're very uh, Nolan Miller-esque, aren't they? <laughs> fancy, fancy. All right, so we're going to pass on that chunky necklace. That big gold tone stuff is really in, so. This is just silver tone. And, yeah, it's just silver tone. It was in a lot I got from Tanya. I started to grab it, but I'm like, you got enough. And it says gratitude. That's why I wore it. These are gorgeous. All right, I'm going to start these at three because some more than one person might want these, actually. These are classic. Absolutely classic. See, I'm going to have to take these off because I like to play with the earrings. I'm going to keep these out, though. These are really pretty. I have a pile over here of stuff that I'm keeping. <laughs> yeah, these are really pretty. The clip is real good. It's another reason to put them on, just to check. I don't put the peers on. Mm -mm. I mean, you should clean them regardless when you buy earrings. I even clean them when they're new. Oh, yeah, these are nice. Oh, these have presents. Wouldn't these be nice for a wedding or anniversary? Hell, you can wear these to your wedding, right? Yeah. These are in a box. I don't think they need to be in a box. I might use this box for something else because it's clean. Definitely. All right, these were three. They had a bag. Lord knows what I did with it. No, they were in a box. That's right. Gosh, guys, I just said that. I just went through that. It's okay, babe. Family is always more important. Oh, anyway, your phone rings. What are you going to do? All right, this is a set, and it's in the original box. It's Giovanni. Well, I don't know if it's the original box. It's in a Giovanni box, and they are Giovanni. It's a, they're two of the same. There is no marking on this other than the Giovanna. Giovanni. Let me find it. Is he one that's on the pen? Because I don't see it readily, which is weird, because I know what these are. That's so strange. Oh, it's on the leaf. There it is. I better check it. Huh? Yeah, these are the Giovanni. 
Let me make sure it's on this leaf. It's not on this leaf. Why? I guess they only marked one. They're clearly the same thing. <laughs> They're clearly the same thing. I mean, down to the how this pen is set in the back of the rose. So they're the same. Look at the gold on this. It's got to be plated. That is to die for gorgeous. So these are Giovanni. So it's a set. I guess you could, yeah, do them, treat them like scatter pins. That would be pretty, right? Yeah, these are nice. Okay. So there's the two roses. I think they're three inches. In case you don't know, I will tell you. Um, yeah, they're three inches long. Let me get this width on those leaves. Is one and a half inches. Good dimensions. So the Giovanni's in the box. Yeah, I've noticed I haven't seen you had put anything up on your channel. So on the Giovanni's on this set for the two in the box. Um, I don't, I think that's less than I paid for them, but it's okay. I've had them a while. They're really beautiful They're in great shape. The box has got a, looks like someone had tape on it. Maybe at some time, a little bit of wear on this corner. Other than that, these are great. Well, the box. These are fun. Oh, yeah. These are actually really pretty. You know, when I do dress, though, Ashley, I wear the jewelry. I'll wear it. I'll wear it. I'll wear the brooches. The neck mat. Yeah. Because I don't go that much. So it doesn't matter where it is. I don't care if, where it is. And I don't usually do it, like, for the grocery. Anything else? Yeah. I'm wearing it. Okay, got Gail at 20 on this. I haven't seen any other interest, so I'm going to move, like I said, try to go fast, because I'm slow enough about showing the pieces. <sighs> okay, let's pull off the top so it doesn't fall anymore. Thank you, uh, um, Gail. Oh, said Ashley. <laughs> this is so pretty. Oh, it's a pendant and a brooch. I got my foot up, so I'm kind of awkward. Well, I'm kind of awkward to begin with. Wow. That's got so much sparkle, doesn't it? Trying to block myself off there. It focuses better when I'm not in the picture. Make a liar out of me, camera. It's still blurry. I have to stay further back, I suppose. This is gorgeous. I think I got this from, um, gosh. Um, dragonfly bees. Those colors are just beautiful. Okay, these are bezel set. Double checking all the stones are there. Because all of this is stones too. And these look faceted. They have the beads, so the beads aren't being a... So, there's the back. It's got the pendant and the brooch. I didn't see any signature anywhere on this piece, which is surprising. Very beautiful piece. Um, I don't know. I think I paid her eight for this. It might have been ten. I thought about ten. I thought it was ten at first, but probably not. It might have been. It's definitely a ten dollar pin, right? Oh my god, that's to die for. Beautiful. That is so pretty. So so pretty. Rich colors. 
this oh i wish i had the earrings you know this had to have earrings they were probably drops like this right i bet i bet wow that is so pretty and it's a pendant hmm i'm tempted i did buy it to wear the thing i'll revisit it later i don't need to be putting anything else on that table <laughs> Sign up on the table. Oh, this is um, this is glass. Wow, someone made this. This is so cool. This is glass. Very cool. Definitely a studio piece. This is really pretty. It's not really translating on the camera. The glow of the piece. I mean, it has a lot of shine, a lot of glow. And these are actually two different colors. They're tilted down. Maybe it'll show. These are darker and this is lighter. So this is not translating on camera at all. Let me take the light off. See if you can see the Because it's very different. I mean, it's not like just a little bit color shift. There you can see it. These are really pale blue. This is very neat. Yeah, somebody made that. Work in glass. I don't know if they put anything in the glass. Nope. It's a good size too. Here, it's nice. So it's uh, one and three quarters. Oops! I almost lost my camera. What did I do? Let me tell you, touch it. So anyway, did I say one and a half or one and a quarter? The camera move freaked me out. Oh, I'm sorry, it's two and three quarters. This is cute. Uh, very different. Um, oh, I was going to do buy it now. Sorry. I appreciate you guys being here with me. I know it was kind of last minute decision to do it, to do this. Um... I don't know anything about this piece. I just do three bucks. I think it's very cool, though. Looks very mid-century modern. Kind of abstract. Yes, it's cool. I think I might wear it like this. If you wear it this way, it's almost flaggish. <laughs> flaggish. You couldn't do this because this is too tall so it's gonna fall so you gotta do it this way or on its side i kind of like it at an angle yeah really pretty i do want to bag this stuff before i put it in the box i see gale at three oh it's right now the <laughs> Sorry about the whole jewelry box thing. Sent it to the wrong place. But I'm lucky you guys are sweet. And that you had each other's information. Well, I sent her your address, clearly. As she told me before you did. Well, you didn't know. I'm surprised you didn't see the tracking show delivered, but was, I'm saying, it's like, oh, you wouldn't have got anything sent to the wrong address. I Made mean, wrong email. Wrong address. Try for it. Okay, these are so cute. I thought these would be signed Monet. I really did. Because they remind me of some Monet ones. They do some just like this. So, look how stinking cute these are. I love these. They are clipbacks. These are in fantastic condition. Look how good that gold is. They're clearly plated. That chain is nice. I and mean, this is all really sparkly. So I'm not sure the age on these. The style, though. Oh, my gosh. Too cool. Okay. So we're going to do... Um, I guess I should put something in between these. <laughs> On these, these are so cute. We're gonna stick with, keep it low, guys. I'm gonna keep it low. Keep it low. These are too stinking cute. They are adorable. Let me see how the clip is. I got a fat ear. Hey, Angela. I didn't see you come in. 
I did go ahead and sort everybody's stuff from last night <clears throat> and yesterday. I got my ears so big. I have to play around with, I know you bought them. I should take them off my head, but I want to see them. I want to see them. I get to wear them once. Oh, these are just too cute. Congratulations. Those are adorable. Adorable. Okay. Here's another one of those 90s brooches. It's unsigned. Faux pearl. Again with the swag bars. Thank you, Gail. It's better than it was last night. My busy shirt really confused the camera last night, yesterday afternoon. <laughs> it really confused them. I'm like, you stick with the three bucks on this stuff. Eh, brooches for three bucks. Can't beat it. <laughs> I think it's good better this way. Yeah. Cute, cute. It's pretty big. It's not overly because it's, again, one of these guys. Well, you don't have to wear it that way. So they'll wear them on their pockets, like the top of their pocket here. But... Yeah, the 90s called. That's what they did in the 90s. And your button would be in here. Cuteness. So a 90s swag pin. Could be older, but, you know, it's this. Yeah, I was, I lived it. I wore it. So <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> um, I know what it is. You know what? I marked that for Gail. Instead of you. Yeah. And you got the red earrings. You'd have killed me. Well, you wouldn't have killed me, but you'd have been disappointed. Psycho. Because I read you say thank you. I looked up to what she said, and then I looked above that, and I was like, oh. Oh, well, wait a minute. That was the first one. Oh, see, Gail was after Angela. No, that's two different things. That's why I need to put the sold in. Angela, you bought these, right? The dangle red earrings? Hush. At least I'm paying attention. Angela, you bought these red ones? Or was it? No, it had to be. Before that was what? I don't even see it. Oh, oh no, that was Maria. They throw it in the unsold. Okay, good. All right, so I'm not entirely insane, but I feel like I didn't get a piece. Let me double check myself. Okay. Okay. Oh, it was this one. Nobody bought the swag of MAGA. Okay. That's so much that didn't sell yesterday. The crystals I'm not worried about. I will wear them occasionally. These are cute little love knots. These look silver. Light as a button. They are. They look brand spitting. They literally look brand new. Like brand new, brand new. Uh, that might just be the little bars to keep the back on well. Yeah, I don't see anything on that. Or they're just silver tone. These are awful small by themselves, guys. I should pair these with something because they're teeny little love knot um, studs. I do mean teeny tiny. They look plated. I have a ton of plated stuff. This isn't more though, so. Anybody want some little love knots? Um, I'll just do a dollar. They're not. They look silver plated to me. They're not marked. But clearly, they're plated. 
They've probably got rhodium on them, too. Yeah, we're going to need to magnify. They're tiny. These are big. Well, they're good for, I was going to say for younger girls, but they're good for anybody, really. Well, I dropped one. They might might be for not. This sucker's so small. If it hit the floor, it's over. <laughs> It'll be days. And I'll find it. I dropped it here. That right here by me. Well, I was going to sweep anyway. I have to sweep for I can vacuum because the dog. Well, actually, I run my robot. Dog on it, Angel. I don't see it, darling. Because it's so small and it hit and bounced. And I don't think it came this way, though. I'm going to lose my camera. If I find it, I'll send them to you. If not, so I'm not going to bill you for them. Let you leave it out so I'll see it. I remember to do something with it. I'm so sorry, babe. Uh, it's got it's here, so this was to do this weekend. So if it's here, I'll find it. Oh, this is I do remember this one. This was in the lot from Tanya. This is nice. It's all glass. So you've got your satin gold here, and then these are actually um, more glass crystals here. So you've got the satin glass, glass which is faceted, and you've got some. Uh, like Priolets, and then you've also got round, like coin. I'm trying to get the camera to focus, for goodness sakes. So these are more like a, a coin, and these are round. Wow. And then these are more like I said, like a Priolet or football shaped. Extremely nice. This, the um, hardware on this looks like it's on chain. Is a one twentieth, twelve karat gold fill. I have no idea if this is plated to me. I don't know. It doesn't look it. I think it's just the hardware on this. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> I throw my neck around. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow, that's pretty. Let me get a link on this. It looks like it's eighteen. Maybe. I put my phone on it. Come on. I'm just going to do a drop on this. Let's see. Actually, it's 20 inches. Wow, that's beautiful. 20 inches. All glass. The hardware, at least. I These don't look plated to me. Um... It's well strung, so there's no gaps for me to see what it's strung on. But what I can see at the end is wire. Oh, this is nice. I think I would put this on the side. Yeah, I would wear this here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I like that better. Much better. Look at the light coming through it. <laughs> cool. Cute. Oh, so, yeah, I like that. It's okay like that. I think it's almost it's almost made to go up here because it's going to keep flipping over while you're wearing it, no doubt, like that. I know I shouldn't say things, but it might discourage you, but just being honest. Yeah, I think it's going to be on the side. All right. <laughs> this is so pretty. I'll do 10 on it. That's stupid cheap. Oh, my God. That's so pretty. <sighs> Yeah, it was a nice bunch of stuff I got from Tanya. I need to go through it. I just kind of, when I opened it, I just kind of briefly went through it real quick. Pulled out a couple of sterling things. That was pretty much it. There's a Yazzie pin in there, a Simon Yazzie, which is one of the older ones, older guys. Thank you, Gail. This is gorgeous. Wait till you feel it. It's quality. It's nice. It's nice and cold. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. I love this. This is prettiness. Prettiness. <sighs> okay. Oh, these are pretty. These are purple. These look like Savorsky crystals. Oops, what is going on? Is something on my camera wire? I bet it is. My ring holder. 
ring sizer. Yeah, I had stuff laying on the cord. Don't look at my messy kitchen. Unless you want to come clean it. <laughs> Don't say anything. Look how that looks blue back here. But it's purple to the eye when you can see the blue in it. So it has chatoyancy, kind of like almost like a um, cat's eye, but it's blue. That is beautiful door knockers. These are nice. These are going to be so worthy. They, Dude, I have an accident not waiting to happen. I don't know if these are original bags. They might be. The gold is really bright. It might be the back someone just put the plastic on. These have got to be Savorsky. <laughs> if not, they're made with Savorsky crystals. These look like a pair that, um, if Doris, if you're still here, a pair that Doris bought. They're not marked. I'll be a son of a gun. Definitely plated. Nice glass. Guys, I swear, I swear I'm not drunk. <laughs> I did take my cannabis, but I don't feel fine. That stuff is not like smoking, you know, get higher. Well, I guess they make stuff you can, but <sighs> mine's mostly just about my <sighs> muscle spasms. These are too pretty. I'd bet money these were Saworski. I'd bet money on it. Good size post too. Forget who it was had some that were super short posts. So here's the back without the um, earring back on. No, it's not 1928. It's not that kind of design. Plus, they're the qualities. I mean, I like 1928, but the quality is not. Yeah, these aren't that. <laughs> yeah, these are nice. That color is so cool. Does it do it in person, like to the naked eye? There's a, it has the, you know, the chatoyancy, but it's not um, the reflectivity and all that, but it's not doing the blue thing. So I wonder if you're like out or in certain lights, if it's going to do it. Because it sure does it on camera. Isn't that the coolest? These are adorable. Well, stick to three. I know. But you know what? It's fine. It's been sitting in boxes. It needs to go live with somebody and be adored. These are too pretty. Yeah, Doris, these look a lot like, don't they look like a lot like the um, Saborskis you got? You know I did not ship your stuff till this week. Don't ask me. What the hell? I felt really bad because I know you had that show coming up. And I'm like, oh, my God. Char Doris got these, baby. Thank you, though, honey, for your um, bed. So I thought, oh, no, if I haven't heard from her since I saw the email when I was sick. Um, it was way after, but I saw that you had emailed. Um, I'm like, I don't know where my brain went, but I couldn't believe it. When I found the stuff. I was like, oh, no. So you should have gotten the notice. It was set priority, so hopefully it makes it in the two to three days. Yeah, these are beautiful. These are nice. These are quality. These are quality. Man. Imagine I'll be like another 10 years. <laughs> no, I'm not going to manifest that. I'm going to be fine. In 10 years, there'll be some new medicine. This is actually real coral. It's not sterling, though. I don't think. I got a bunch of coral from Gina Gay. I just haven't worn them, but I did test them. I always test them with the acetone. I mean, I knew they were coral because Gina knows. I mean, she's got more coral than, shoot, than I've got sterling. Well, she's probably got as much of that, too, honestly. <laughs> but um, they are coral, but I wanted to check them to see if they were dyed, and they're not. So there's a variation of the colors, as you can see. And it does fit because it's a coil. But it's small enough to smaller wrists like mine. And I'm a six. And uh, it will fit you. I don't think this was sterling. There was one that is. And they're too heavy. I don't know why I buy them. Because I love coral. So I'll buy them. And it was a good price. It was like for a bunch of. Well, no. Actually, I bought them separately. And she just bulk build them. I don't know. It kind of looks sterling. The rug does. I heard something hit over here. Probably knocked my 
test acid off of here. Ugh. Uh, where'd you go, Mo? It's not something I want just floating around either. <laughs> the test acid, I don't want it just floating around the house, see, on the table or anywhere. Oh, good grief, Charlie Brown. Oh, I got a new one in the box. I'll just pull the new one. <sighs> the one thing that's put properly away. My testing acid. A little trap later when I'm cleaning this up. Well, I didn't know when your show was. I didn't know when you had the... Um, access to the location i couldn't remember i didn't get a date you had just mentioned that you had it for, i think for for a couple weeks or something actually this sterling how about that how about them apples didn't know i knew the one was so yeah it is sterling all right i wasn't going to be doing sterling and stuff this show but okay so this is <gasps> Sterling silver. It is coral. I'd guess red Mediterranean probably. Oh, hi, Rosa. I've missed you too. You got a package coming because um, 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 Stella. Stella got one of your rings the, on turquoise ring. That was my ring that I finally gave in and sold. That one that you bought. So it, that's why you're getting a package. Because you probably thought, I didn't even see her auction this week. Or it was last week. Um, but yeah, that's why. This is very nice. Um, on this one. I don't know. I know it's stupid cheap, but I'm not wearing it. And I got a good deal from her on all the pieces together. So it comes out in the wash, as they say. I finally sold the 14 karat gold citrine necklace online. Yay! took forever to sell that thing well that's not true i haven't been on there that long this time as i had pulled all my listings down good grief camera what do i need like a, something behind it is that what's going on is it because i need something behind it other than me yes put my hand back there helped i see rosa at 20 yes a nice one rosa I know, I'm really glad, Angela, because I spent a lot on that piece, so I'm not making money on it, but I did get the bare bones that I wanted. So I don't see anybody else on the coral. If they're nice, I just haven't worn them. And it's like at this point, if I haven't worn it, I'm not going to. Realistically, I'm not going to. Just haven't worn any red. I don't even know what I have that's red that's left anymore. <laughs> Becky. Darling. Glad you made it, baby. Not if you heard me last night, but I didn't forget your, um, yeah, Tiffany. I'll bill it when I'm doing all these. I might go ahead and work on this stuff today, this from yesterday and today, so you guys don't have too much at once. It's a lot. I'm not as good at it anymore. I have shipped two wrong things last week. Not what, actually it wasn't last week, because Rosa, your ring was, oh, but see, there was two different times I've sent stuff to the wrong address. That's like crazy. I used to run a UG based store. I had thousands of freaking items up, and I managed to handle it. But I'm not even doing that much online. I mean, I guess it is. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not. Good be. This is that R.J. Graziano, I think. Unless I'm mistaking it with something else. Yes, yeah, is the R.J. Graziano. I don't remember if this one's Lucite. It is. Yeah, it's it's um acrylic or something. And it's facet cut. Reminds me of the Rush pieces. He did these because I had another one like this that sold um and rush did them this you know they were known for these collars 
with the um, facet color lucite pieces. It's actually really cool. It's adjustable. It's meant to wear at your collar. So it's so you can adjust it to your collar. And that's the marker. But this is really cool. I actually wore this a lot. <laughs> it really looks good. Especially if you're wearing like an, an overcoat or um, like a suit jacket. Because this is in the center where your, where your V is. Looks good. Or a V-neck shirt. It can fit right in the top. <laughs> I know, but I did wear it. Just telling you. Just I'm just telling you. It's like your dad, huh? It's like your mother. I'm just telling you. <laughs> We've all heard that, right? Let me see if this thing glows, if it's um actually loose side or not. Looks like it probably is. The brown ones, not so much. Those white ones are glowing like freaking crazy. Are they just reflecting the color? No, they're they're definitely glowy. All right, so the RJ Graziano. Um, on the RJ Graziano, I want to sell this because I've put it up a couple times. It hasn't sold. So I'll do five. It's a nice piece. I don't, there's your market. He sold on um, HSN, RJ Graziano, G R A Z I A N O, RJ Graziano. And some of this stuff goes for real good. Some stuff's like, your bread and butter like this piece but this piece um oh thank you gail i'm glad i can't get this to hook it's me i see you char yeah i do like this one the shirt looks hideous with it i know but just yeah i had a blue suit i used to wear this with i really loved that suit so it didn't button it was a wrap with a cloth belt was great size 16 though so i've got all my size um 10s 8s 10s and 12s are all bagged up but i'm scared to get rid of them because as soon as i do you know it's gonna be i might gain weight and have to buy clothes again i had to buy a lot of new clothes my stuff just did not fit anymore okay thank you sir it's better if you can either hang this or lay it flat. I've been folding it and laying it because after you hang it a little bit, it's, I mean, once you're wearing it, it's hanging. It, um, whatever, how, whatever you've done to it comes undone. The worst thing, though, is letting it curl up because the tips are hard to get it to curl back down. So that's the only thing is just don't let your bottom be flipped upside down it takes a while for that to come out of this piece but it does fall out but not fast oops i forgot to put your name in it oh, why do i keep closing this i'm glad someone's gonna wear this looks really good on it's one of those things that looks better on than it does when it's just hanging. Plus, the shirt didn't do it any justice, you know. <laughs> the shirt really didn't help, did it? What's in the bag? A lot of this stuff is like, surprise for me, too. Oh, I sold this. Oh, this is where my little piles were earlier. Hang on. this. I have a box of everybody's stuff sorted. Okay. Sorted. All right. I think this one is... Is this the Monet? I have one that's a Monet and one that's not. They're identical. Yeah, this is the Monet. It's the, um, no, they're not actually tank tracks. It's, um, gas pipe. So it's kind of flattish. Very, very flexible. It's Monet, so it's extremely well made. As your fold over clasp, your marking is on the clasp. This one, I'm pretty sure, is probably 15 inches round. Let me see what it looks like on the neck, and I'll just get the drop on her. Get the drop on her, like I'm going to attack her. Yeah, it's very oval. The way it's so pliable, yeah, it's going to be fine. It fits well. I don't recall if I wore this or not. I wore the other one that's a skinnier one, mostly, more than this one. But I sold almost all of my Monet. This just got left out. 
Let's just do the one side and we'll see. Got the wrong dog on side of the tape. This thing doesn't start on zero at the end. No, it starts down here. Actually, it's showing almost 16. I think it's almost 16 inch. Well, yeah, that'll look good then, Char. It really will. The, um, talking about this one, obviously, you know, the RJ Graziano isn't, because it's that. I think the pale blue ones are loose light. Either way, they're extremely, you know, it's um, extremely heavyweight. This one, no. I mean, it's substantial. You know it's there. It's not like you're going to, well, you would forget it's there after wearing it a while, but no, it's Monet, so it's it's substantial. But yeah, it's another one that's going to be up at your collar. So on the, um, on the Monet, um, okay, how about, we do, uh, I'm going to just cut this in half. I think I paid 10 on this one. This is one of the Monet pieces I paid a little bit more for. Because I ended up with two of them. And, um, and um, I sent the other one with the earrings. Because those hoop earrings had the same exact kind of. So if you're looking for pieces with this, it's the hoop. They're like the half hoop earrings that are kind of wide and they, they're exactly like this. So they've got the same exact type of design. I see chart six. Yeah, it is a Monet. So, man, they don't make them like they used to, do they? So I see Char at six on this. I see Gail at seven. Yeah, I think I brought this before. I brought it at 10. I... Yeah, it's in great shape. They don't make things like they did, do they? I guess better brands do. Like your J. Cruz and your Kate Spade. Your Some of these are still in, too. Some of these makers are still making jewelry. I see Angela at eight. Yep, that's a good one. Angela's out. Gail's at nine. What I do? With, oh, it's on this neck. <laughs> I'm like, what I do with it? Yeah, it's really smooth. I'm sure everybody knows what this. Everybody's probably had one of these, or at least seen one. I see Gail at nine. I should put these in that Giovanni box. <laughs> I think I will. Okay, Char is out. Thank you, Gail. I'm going to call this for Gail. Appreciate it, you guys. It's a good one. And this one you can hang. It's not going to stretch or do nothing weird. But it also kind of lays almost flat like a snake. Oh, it's seven, nine. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a good one. I might switch those Giovannis that are in there because they're two separate. Um, where's the box? Did somebody buy that set? Yeah, somebody bought it. Sorry. <laughs> Here's another Giovanni. I'm like, I'm going to put these in there. <laughs> I'm going to take those two roses out and put this in there. Well, these are Giovanni as well. It's very similar, except they um, enameled. Yeah, they enameled the top. It's literally like the same rose, enameled. It's close. It might not be identical. It looks like this one has more, um, what do you call I call them rooting spots, thorns. <laughs> rooting spots. No, those are thorns. Oh, they are thorns. Cute. Very cute. These are nice. This one's marked here. The other ones are on the... I don't know if these are marked. Yeah, they are. But it's a set. Here's the clip-on earrings. Nice set. It's in perfect condition. It's like brand new. Let me open these. Yeah, even the back is good. 
it's not as shiny, but of course it wouldn't be. Come on. I need to turn that kitchen light out because I think it might be focusing way back there. So he's in great shape. All right. Uh, so the Giovanni set. I'll just start these at 15. I'll turn the kitchen light out. <laughs> As it doesn't hurt to be up and move around a little bit, too. That's a super nice set, especially for 15. I don't have anything displayed stuff like that on. I do have pillows somewhere. <laughs> this is nice. I'm going to guess it's the same, three inches long. And the tips are done in the gold, too. Super nice. Come on, quit getting blurry, camera. <clears throat> yeah, I couldn't believe how bad it was last night, yesterday afternoon, early evening. That's good for this set. It's the back. It's really great condition. The Giovanni's there. I like the way they did the edges in gold. Especially this rose. It looks really pretty because you can see the you can see that gold and see the insides gold. Really pretty, 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 pretty set. Pretty set. Nice. Giovanni. I need to put these in a box. So far the enamel has survived. This is really cool. I bought this from Tanya a long, long time ago, like a couple years ago. It's a Los, Los Sortes coin bracelet. It's 1953. A small one, I think, is a 1958, it says. I don't know what the 652 in the corner is. No idea. But yeah, Los Los Sortes. And these are centavos cinco centavos one centavo wait five said five cents this one's a 52 so my notes are wrong it says 53 this is 1952 anyway it's mid 50s it's a coin bracelet this isn't the one i got from tanya that one was france it's all world war ii dates it's here somewhere yeah los los Sortes. Bracelet, it's got a cool clasp. So it's got this big hook. The slide and it slides in there. Boom. Closes really easy. Which is cool. This is unisex if it's not too small. Which hey yeah, uh, some dudes are thin. I'm gonna say seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. Let me put pass in there so we don't get mixed up. <laughs> pass. Um, this one. Five. I don't. It's probably. I don't know where this came from. I didn't buy this individually. So I have no clue. <laughs> I have no idea where this came from. I don't think I bought it individually. It could happen. We know some of them are 1952 and some are 1953. And my note says small and then eight. I don't know what that means. I see char at five. Is it char or char? I would think Charlotte. Char. Okay. Never mind. I'm being mental. That actually is dangling. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I see five on the Los Los Santos. I'm going to start calling it for charts. I don't see any interest. I don't think my lag is that long. I didn't check it. I'll leave my little note thing in there. <laughs> Second. Oh, yeah. Char. Like Charlotte. Char. Char. Okay. Once I said it out loud to myself and verbally, like, is it? And I realized... She, Char, like Charlotte. Uh huh. This is pretty. It must be gold filled or something. It's weird for me to have bagged this. I don't know if that's its price or what. 
like, what are you? It's a spring ring class. It says something. It's a cute little bracelet. It says Korea. Why did I bag this? Let's check the little heart. Make sure it's not something. Okay, very simple. Just mark Korea. Spring ring. I forget when we stopped getting a lot of stuff from Korea. I don't know. As far as jewelry, I'm sure we still get stuff from Korea. Uh, Korea. It's a puppy heart. Let me sell. I might swipe this because it's not solder. This ring isn't. Is that on a gold tone bracelet? <laughs> I won't. I have so many pieces and stuff like, oh, yeah, sure. You're going to do it. I have so much. I'm going to have to bring my broken sterling to auction because I haven't taken, I haven't been to the drawer in forever. This is seven and a half inches. I've not been to the jeweler in forever. This little Korea bracelet. Let me put it with some other bracelets or something. It's kind of dinky. All right, there's this one. It needs cleaned up. That's pretty. Are you marked? You are not, but it's in great shape. Nice clamper. I don't see any. Color loss. It's not even very scratched up. A couple scuffs. Nothing major. Nothing big. Like you just see a little bit of wear, but that might clean off. Most likely that will. Look at the reflection. You can see my um, prints that are on that wall here. <laughs> and my camera. Okay, so we got this one, this one. These are both gold tone. Bracelets, bracelets, any more bracelets? Let me make a little lot. I know there is. Where the heck is it? Don't know. Damn it. Hey, darling. Don't know. Just look in here real quick. Oh, lots of earrings. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. All right, I'll see. So we'll do these two together. <laughs> I'm just going to do, um, I don't know, three bucks. This is pretty. Just too big for me. So that's the thing. I don't show bracelets very well because everything just hangs on me. Let's see, chart three. Let me spiff it up again a little bit. Let's see, shard three. I'm going to swipe this bag, switch it out. I'm going to start calling this for shark because I don't see anybody else. Oh, 16 of us in here. Cool beans. All right, I'm going to call that sold. Shark right, three. Thank you, babe. Uh oh. Not fitting in there. Nope, 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 nope. They are pretty. I mean, I've got stuff. I've got craft lots galore. I've got so many of them. It's stupid. I need to do something with them. Nice barrel clasp. It's in good shape. Not seeing issues with that. I don't remember this. It's, um, I don't even know what you'd call that. It's hollow. It's like all these links and it makes a tube. I don't know what to call this. Cool. I'll call it cool. <laughs> really nice. All right. 30 inches. Wow, this is cool. Very cool. Yeah, nice length. And 30 inches, and it's got the barrel clasp. So you are going to be able to double it. You'll have to unclasp it. But yeah, that's really good. That's good. I like that. Um, I'll get a starting bit of this one. That is so nice. I'll start at 8. Wow, I like that. 
substantial. It's not too awful heavy because of the way it's made. But it's nice. It's well made. Let me see. Make sure I'm not lying. Yeah, you can double this. Come on, barrel. Work with me. My right hand is so worthless today. Come on. <laughs> I'll hit it sooner or later. I'll get it. If I don't, oh well. I give up. I'm hard-headed. What can I tell you? I just want to see. <laughs> That's the thing when I'm going through this stuff. I'll always end up dragging a bunch of st shit back upstairs thinking, I really like that. I'll probably wear that. Then I don't. And it ends up back down here in six months. Making sure my opening is facing the other side. It's my hands. It's ridiculous. At least unscrewing it's a lot easier. Yeah. It's going to be a true uh, choker. It's actually cool though. Yeah, take these off. <clears throat> uh oh, you're in the way. I'm all tangled up. <laughs> I just want to get this clasp up above those crystals. I just had the stupid thing. Where'd it go? It's a barrel class. How could I possibly lose it? <laughs> That's so weird. Maybe I keep grabbing the same one twice. <laughs> How did it end up all the way up front? Oh, when I was trying to adjust it. Okay. Nobody wants her to eat. I really like that. <laughs> I have to remember where it's at if someone watches this after the fact and wants it. You might want to tell me in your email. You put it with your stuff. There it was. It was in front. Hey, where were you a minute ago? So I don't get tangled up again. Oh, I already am. There we go. I don't hang these. I don't hang those. I hung for a little bit on that neck, but I got them off of there because they'll stretch. I sold the other pair of these last night, and I chat and ran across these. These are gorgeous. These are the faux black pearls with all those rhinestones. It's just a little, oh, it's just a pill. There we go. Anyway, it's got all the original stuff, so your paperwork is still in here. The warranty card's still in here, so see if it's the right earrings. It is. Super nice. So new old stock, basically. These are to die for. Gorgeous. Come on, camera. You know you want to focus. Maybe the light's too much. Yeah, Gail, I love it, too. It's a really nice one. Camera, please focus. It's not even getting my hand. Okay, light is an awful lot. Let's get that off of there. Okay, that looks good. Oh, and then it went away. I don't know what to do. There's really no adjusting my camera. Oh, good. We got it. These are gorgeous. They are clips. They're signed here. Yeah, these look brand. I don't think she ever wore these. This was this guy had an estate from his grandparents. The stuff she had, and then he had stuff from traveling. He was a World War II um, pilot. The grandfather was. All right, so we'll do the Nolan Miller New Old Stock. 
in the original box. It's in great shape. The velvet. I'm going to do these at 25 bucks. Anybody want some? I paid that for them like a decade ago. <laughs> I bought both of these from him. I don't know why I'm like showing the box. <laughs> See the box? These are gorgeous. Don't see any interest. Nice, nice. I have to see if Janie wants these because she got the other Nolan Miller. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, oh, this is a Jerry's brooch, I bet you. Or Avon. I guess a lot of people did this bamboo stuff. But okay, so I'm going to say it's either a lowercase r because it, yeah, it works. <laughs> or it can be a J. Yeah, it can be a J. I think it's a lowercase r because of this. But then again, I don't really know. See, now I think it looks good. J. Who made this? All right, Jerry's or. No, it's Sarah Cove. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. Sarah Coventry. How funny is that? I still think, I don't know, it could be an R, could be a J. Okay, I'm just going to, anybody wants this for like, what, two bucks? Oh, not 20. I'm sorry. <laughs> Strike that. Um, that was supposed to be, was supposed to be $2. <laughs> It's a Sarah So it's either a J. I know it's backwards to you guys probably, but it's a J. Or a lowercase r. It's in perfect shape. Okay, Angela. Thank you, sweetie. R or J. R or J. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Get in there. Okay, what's next? I showed this before. It's a Lucky Brand. I thought they were Sterling. <laughs> I said I had told you guys they were Sterling, and I realized they're Lucky Brand. You goof. They're not Sterling. I'm not even sure that they're plated. I don't see the backs either. I don't know if I can get them out of this box. Where's my other earring? Don't tell me. I've had these so long I've managed to... Oh, no. There it is. It's, I'm looking at it. Duh. Oh, the back is there. Doesn't say silver plate, so I don't think they are. Whatever that is. It does have the back. These look brand new. So these are giftable for sure a lucky brand wow this camera is sucky 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 I guess be still maybe it'll catch maybe there's too much light ah and make sure those little stones are there no, I can't see Yeah, actually, it's like um, black stones in the middle. There's one missing. All right. So the lucky brand with one missing. It's one of the black stones is missing. I'm putting this back in here. They're pretty long. I got the end stuck inside the paper. Hang on. I don't want to do that. They gotta be three inches long. Damn it, I did it again. Let's see. Anyway, I'll do the book. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm having a day. Um, on these, I don't care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember where the heck they came from. Wow. Oh, I'm measuring the box. I was like, wow. 
they're like a little over three inches, like maybe three and a quarter. I should have done by it now on this. I'd be much smarter. Okay, anybody wants these? I have the light completely facing away, and it's still reflecting like that. They're just super shiny. And they really are super, like, shiny. <laughs> I don't know if Lucky Brand, they probably do plate their stuff. I would think, right? If anybody wants this, just biting out three. And they are boxed, so they're giftable. They come in the box. $39. And then somebody hand wrote 15 Got the Lucky Brand thing here. All right, Shar, thank you, babe. Thank you, thank you. If I had to guess, I'd say, yeah, they probably do plate their stuff. It's Lucky Brand. I know their jewelry's not cheap. I know I wouldn't pay 36 bucks for that. <laughs> I bet you wouldn't either. Okay. They're empty. This looks pretty, whatever this is. Wow, this is really pretty. Very pretty. Look at this. Is that the slider? Look at these tassels with that enamel work. <laughs> Darn this camera. I'm hoping it catches being still. It says no. Computer says no. You guys ever watch that little Britain? <laughs> oh, it works too. The slider works. Both sides. Very nice. Huh. No one claimed it. Isn't that odd? Gorgeous necklace. How long is this thing? Okay. Really not going to bother with the drop because you can make the drop wherever you want it. Okay. With the tassels. It's, um, shoot. 34, 35 inches. And the one tassel drops to um, 34. So it's 34 and 35 right now. But you could make it even. What, 35? Even it's at uh, 36 inches. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 35 inches if you have it even. That is so nice. I love this. That is really pretty. Um, start it really low. This is in perfect shape. Really nice. <sighs> That's going to look killer on. Yeah. Really pretty. It's going to hang lower, but so you can see the tassels. I'll hold it up. Really cool. I see... Sh Chart six. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Surprise is not marked. It's nice enough, it should have been marked. It is very pretty. A lot of these pieces, I think the person was um, a, a, um, you know, office, business, whatever. I was, well, I was in office sometimes for meetings, but yeah, wearing suits and, you know, coordinated clothing. Because, again, this is like another good piece for, like, that's your shell or something. I'm going to start calling this for Char. I don't see anybody else. It's gorgeous. The enamel is really good on it, too, Char. There's no loss. This isn't that old or it's just been extremely well kept for. Even inside the um, these sliders... It has like these um type of silicone inserts, so it moves like butter really good. I'll quit playing with it, so I won't add any wear to it. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice one. Congratulations, babe. <laughs> I wrote on two pieces of paper. There. <laughs> it's too funny. It's too funny. Don't do it. 
don't do it. Don't do it. Inject yourself with liberty. <laughs> And I didn't find the one I wrote on. There's another one down there. I just dropped it again. Yeah, my hand's going fast. <laughs> I already had, it was already starting before I even started, just from moving stuff around and just general stuff. It's weird. It's weird. It's empty. This is cool. I got this from Misty. I adored it. I never wore it. Never wore it. <laughs> Gotta clean it up. This is so cool. It's Omega, but it has a thing so you can hang a pendant on it. Both of these flap out so you can get it on. Man, that is too cool. So again, the top of your shell, most tanks and shells or that's the neckline um that and think about like just for costume i thought this would be great for like egyptian because it clearly is egyptian revival i like it as a place for a pendant the only pendants i got are dinky dinky or ginormous it won't fit mm -hmm. that's cool all right i'll quit talking about it did i mark that other one so i did not so, um, I'm going to start this low, 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 low. I forget what I paid Misty for this one. Sure wasn't $4, but it's okay. I'm not wearing them. What's the point? What's the point? I really thought I would. I thought if nothing else, Halloween or something, you know, do the whole Egyptian Cleopatra thing. This neck is skinny. It's gonna it's set up on me and higher than that. There we go. Uh, I don't want to take a pendant off a necklace to do this, but I do want to see it. I do want to see it. I can stick a brooch on there. I see Doris at four. I'm gonna use the back of this brooch because oh that won't work. It has to dangle down and face that way. Okay, so an earrings or a brooch isn't gonna work. I don't have any pendants that are free, that are foot loose and fancy free. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. So I see doors at four. That's cool. Are you a pendant? Would you work? This is actually a scarf clip. It might be too fat. Ah, there we go. Very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Looks cool. With a pendant. I think the round is a good choice, too. Anything geometrical is going to look good on here, I think. I think. I think. I was watching a, um, I'm going to call it YouTube. It's um, Temple. I've been watching that kid since he was in his early 20s out running around just doing news stories on the scene and he covered all the craziness when they were protesting like at Berkman, just the nonsense, all the cancer culture first started. He doesn't go out anymore. Now he does a um, IRL um, every night at eight. They're young, but you know what? It keeps me in the know. I don't watch it as much as I used to because he's so political. I'm just not on board. <laughs> I'm not on board with anybody. I don't want either one of them old, old guys. I really don't. <laughs> it's like we have this country run by all these really people older than me. I'm like, I wouldn't trust me. <laughs> I can't keep my shit together and run a YouTube channel. <laughs> of course, they got better drugs. <laughs> Thank you, Doris. They got better drugs than I do. This is not marked Austria, but I bet my left tip it is. Yep. It is. Look at that riveting on here. Yeah. No doubt. And check this out. Yeah. So it's AB coated Austrian crystal. Beautiful brooch. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You're very welcome. Thank you, babe. The one I had on, it's 85. 
That's when I paid for it. I got this from um, Sue at Denim of Diamonds. I'm pretty sure this is the one that's like 64 inches. I'm pretty sure. Some of them are 54. I think this one was longer. This is incredible. I don't remember if this was Austrian crystal. Feels like it, though, because it's lighter than um, glass. So you can really feel the difference on that glass one that's not this long. It is heavy. Anyway, on what was I doing? On the Austrian brooch while I measure this? On the Austrian brooch on that one. Um, I'll just do a starting bit of that at, I'll do five bucks. That's to die for approach. Oh my God. <laughs> it's really nice. Look at the um, riveting, the sledging on this. Yeah. It's a good one. What the heck did I, oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> Maybe, you know, I am at the bottom of my bottle of my cannabis stuff, my, um, drops so maybe maybe it's super potent down there at the bottom because i feel it <laughs> which is good I'm not hurting yep it's 64 inches it's a beast 64 inches hello it's it's wonderful though i'll tell you what it is wonderful it's devil knotted I like the, the uh, deep brown um, silk cord. This looks restrung. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I don't think she said so, but it's been a minute. It could have been. If I didn't get it from her, it would have been maybe Deb at um, Tiny Deer. And she strings jewels. She restrings stuff. I have one of her rutilated quartz. It's too heavy for me to wear. I brought it a couple times, but I got no room to lower it. And it's so beautiful. It's like, you know what? I really hate selling it. But okay. I'm trying to get my gym tester free. I laid jewelry on top of the wire. I turned it on. All right, it is glass, so yeah. Yeah amazing okay not hang them they're gonna end up back upstairs on my drawer box i can wear them not for extended time but i can wear them all right so we're at five on this this is gorgeous i'm gonna guess an inch and a half <clears throat> and it is an inch and a half a little over almost an inch and three quarters Yeah, that's gorgeous. Nice glass. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. My camera is not doing me. It's just justice. This is pretty. Very pretty. All righty. This is gorgeous. It doesn't look sterling. Ah. Uh, nah. Nah. Beautiful. I wonder if this is um, amethyst glass or if that's just... Look at the light going through it. Wow. That is so pretty. So pretty. What are we dealing with here? She it like jade, my man. Oops, it keeps sliding off. This is so tumble. It's just shy of jade. Yeah, that one made it. This looks like tourmaline. Glass. More jade. Or the pink one. Are you jade or rose quartz? Uh, might be glass. It's glass. How about these green ones? Tourmaline. I wonder about these pink ones. Probably glass. They remind me of the Egyptian glass. 
I don't, I don't know that it is. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. This is really gorgeous. Just silver tone hardware. It's a lobster claw. Wow, is this pretty. So this is glass. These, it hit the edge of jade. I wouldn't be surprised. It kind of looks jade and nephrite. These are glass. Glass. These other ones hit jade. So it's kind of weird that some of them are gemstones. I guess it's whatever they had, huh? Glass. Let me check this again. It's definitely going above the glass. It's not quite reaching jade. If I move it around, though, it moves up. Anyway, I'll just do it like, um, you want the brooch? Okay, babe. That was five. Oops, wrong thing. It is beautiful, Gail. Absolutely gorgeous. Really nice. Really pretty. Oh, where's that glass necklace? I'm going to just call it glass. I mean, it is higher than glass down here, but it doesn't matter. That is adorable. Pretty. Let's see. So your drop's going to be 16 inches, and then the um, pendant area, like where it drops, your dropping areas, what is that? Two inches long. So 16 inches to here. So it's gonna it's like a lavalier. It's like a glass lavalier. God, that's pretty. I marked that so I say keep spacers in between these pieces so I don't get confused. <laughs> this is too pretty. Um, the thing is, I'm on international, and I can do it here, but you're Australian shipping. Obviously, you know. It's it's insanely ridiculous. So as long as you're aware of your shipping being exorbitant, it makes Canada look cheap, which is saying something. But Canada went up, too, on their one pound or less. It used to be always, what was it? Is it 7 or 14? It must have been 14. And now it's higher. I haven't shipped anybody in Canada in a long time. Uh, since Nance. This is really beautiful. I don't think the camera's doing it justice. Honestly, it's so pretty. Very feminine. These are really great colors. You can see the light shining through them. Really pretty. Gorgeous piece. It's not overly heavy. You know, it's substantial, but it's not going to kill you. Really pretty. A gorgeous little piece. A gorgeous little piece. A lobster claw. Yeah, I like the way that hangs like a lavalier. It's nice. It's smooth, too. Cause these are round and this is really smooth i had a hard time keeping the gem tester on it i thought these were going to be um pink jade or rose quartz but they're still glass really pretty these are testing it back hey steph good to see you isn't it beautiful <gasps> stephanie it's beautiful i was so shocked nobody wanted that it's just sweet that's just sweet as all i mean that's all i can say it's just sweet beyond sweet do you remember how much it was baby i don't remember stuff i can look back though if you don't know it's okay um i'll check It's, um, if I, if you haven't done it, just make sure I know your um, PayPal email. I don't know if I do. It might be on my invoices from you. I'm not sure. But if you want to pop it to me, because I don't know that it's going to be your channel name. Though I don't think it's the same as your email for your channel. 
so Steph sells stuff by the seashore. She's on tonight. Aren't you doing like midnight with Helen tonight? I know it's late, right? I'm usually on Saturdays um, late, but Fridays, yeah, I, I'm not. And I'm not living an exciting life. I'm not going out on Fridays unless it's just a dinner or somewhere. So, yeah, you guys, I think she's on at midnight. Steph sells stuff by the seashore. And it's variety. It's variety. It's um Helen, which I mentioned her earlier, with um the New England Thrifter. She's got a good channel. And on Sundays, I always watch them. I think it's on at noon on Sunday. Not positive. I think so. And it's on Stephanie's channel. They do Sundays. And it's I buy a lot. I bought so much glassware and porcelain and just cool things. Just vintage stuff. It's like going to a garage sale or a yard sale or, you know, one of those indoor auctions. I just got these from Sandy. The Sandy Spiff, S-P-I-F-F. She's on there. I just bought all these maps. I haven't gone through them yet. Yeah, I love it. We have so much fun, guys. I mean, it's, it's a hoot. They are funny. And the chat's just really sweet, too. It's at 9. See, I, pause, I apologize. I think I always end up seeing, like, the tail end of it when I'm done with um whatever in the evening. 9 p.m. You know, I don't know how to get people a wrench. But you guys can find her by name easy. Easy, easy. I found her by name. She I you know where I found you was on Pat C. Craftsy's channel. On Patricia's channel. Alright, these two are collector items. I'm not charging their value. So if you like them to wear groovy, if you're a seller, because I'll list them. I just haven't listed them, but I didn't pay their value. They were either in a lot. I think that both of these were in a lot. I have found so many things in lots. I mean, antiques, sterling, gold, all kind of stuff. This one is Raz. What is his name again? I always forget it. Uh, Raz Balk. Raz. Raz. R O Z. Raz. Balkan, B-A-L-K-A-N, and he does stuff in bronze. So it's a snakehead closure. And my camera is really going to be screwed with this because it's really shiny. Yes. <laughs> really shiny. So snakehead closure. It's bronze. It's not going to break on you. So you do have to open a little bit to get this off. I found the earrings online. There's stupid prices on this stuff. Stupid prices. It's very smooth. Very nice. Roz Balkan. R O Z. Roz Balkan. Let me get you linked on this one. And um, I'm going to do the Roz. Oops. I lost my place. Yeah, I got to figure out how to put. A wrench to people because when I highlight you it only gives me options to show like you'd show up on screen or to put you in timeout or delete the comment I have no way to give a wrench I don't know how to do it anyway let me give you a link on this so yeah these go for like I think it was like a hundred dollars for those earrings I was like what is I guess he's a studio artist this is showing up like 18 and a half and a little over 18 and a half, almost 19 inches. It's a cool one. So um, I'm going to just start this at, how did I lose it again? Okay, but do it on YouTube. But once you're in recording, it doesn't let you do it, I don't think. Or are you saying I have to just go live straight YouTube, which I can do. Um, they have restrictions on me though because I don't have enough I think it, they limit you I thought on your time or something because it depends on how, like, how many subscribers you have something like that I've slept since then I don't remember I don't remember but I know there was some type of um, 
There was a reason I was using StreamYard. It seems like I had some restriction or something because of my have don't have that many subscribers. I think I only have like maybe 400 or something. So here's your snakehead. You can put him wherever you want. I think I might almost put him his head down. Yeah. I know you think this would be my cup of tea, Miss Love My Studio stuff. I just, and I did, and I just found it, though. It wasn't like I went out and purchased it or even purchased it intentionally. It just happened to be a lot that I bought. And I was shocked. I'm like, wow, this thing's actually valuable. <laughs> Really cool. Really cool. I guess maybe I should put it in my stuff because it is lightweight. Some things you just forget about, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of don't think about it. <laughs> just don't think about it. And get it flat to begin with. Just try it out. I like the sound. Actually, that is pretty cool, isn't it? Where's my snakehead? There he is. That's pretty cool. Ouch. That wasn't cool. I banged the crap out of my elbow. But yeah, I just love Sunday afternoons with you guys, Steph. It's always so much fun. It's so funny. I mean, just get silly we just get silly why can't i find a class Was it, wasn't this a um a big old lobster claw or something yeah it could be my hands not feeling very well i can't feel very well this is gorgeous i couldn't believe this wasn't marked it looks gold filled, filled guys that's why i expected to find gold filled and it wasn't this is glass look at this this has got to be old gotta be old look at this oh good gracious camera get maybe oh man oh goodness sakes i have had so many cameras so many webcams and i'm just have the worst luck don't i now this is glass but look at this it's got the safety chain. I mean, I would have bet money this thing was going to be signed. So the safety chain stays on. Uh, just has one of those. Um, boop. So it clips. It's just too big on me. You know, this type needs to fit right here. I have one. I have actually two that are really small, but Victorian ones that are gold. I think this is gold filled at very least. It's got to be. I did. Did I rub this one? I think I did. I think I rubbed it. Maybe not. Anyway, this is incredible. I almost wrote sold <laughs> on the, um, on that, on the rods. What in the world? I don't understand why it keeps like leaving that spot. Let me get a size on this, but I'm going to go ahead and start this one. Um, I'll start at eight. Did I write eight, Ruby? Okay. Six and a half. Yeah, that makes sense. So it should just to press down here and pull that out. Hey, Sandy. Just talking about you guys. We do have fun on Sundays, right? It is always fun. I think that's between Helen and her Helen heads and counting things, putting us all asleep. She's so funny. <laughs> that needs to wipe down. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't believe it's not marked, but definitely a Victorian revival piece. Yeah, it is so much fun. I haven't went through those maps yet. I'm looking forward to it. My earlier days, I would have been crafting with them. That's really pretty. I don't see anybody else. I'm going to start calling this for Sandy. 
going once and going twice and sewed sandy at eight thank you dear very very much oh that's a neat one good price you got a good deal you got a good deal oh all right this is a joan rivers and there's your hang tag here it's actually black glass it's hand tied and it's it has um hematite ever so often it is beautiful sandy i wish it fit me i have two though i do have a small gold one with no stone and then i have one that's um that accordion stretch that's the heart locket so this is um hematite the rest of these are facet cut glass Joan Rivers. It's heavy. All right, just so you know, it's, it's very heavy. Very, very heavy. 32 inches. So Joan Rivers. You're glad it doesn't fit me. Yeah, yeah, I would have kept that for sure. I tried to wear it. I'll be honest, I did, but it just flops it doesn't look pretty because you need it to stay put it kept flopping over this is so pretty yeah i guess i'm gonna be shopping for a camera huh this is beautiful joan rivers so let me mark that as sold to sandy and then i will start the joan rivers um i'll start at 10 which is stupid low but Again, I need to sell this stuff. I've had it forever. I have I don't remember where I got this. I don't remember. That's my problem with so much of this stuff. I don't remember getting it because I buy so much. So for something like this, I might have bought individual or in a small group. I did buy a small group at Joan Rivers years ago, but could this have survived? Yeah, it could. It could. Super long. 32 inches you can double it yeah pretty 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 it's inviting a brooch isn't it it's saying put a brooch on me please right there <laughs> now i gotta look at the necklace real close and make sure it didn't do anything to the glass where did you go you're that big oh we got so lucky it went in the box uh thank you thank you thank you so i get for playing around wanting to play with everything it does though doesn't it it's like saying put a brooch on me <laughs> please put a brooch on me oh they some oh i found a neck for the bracelet yay come on you gotta have a brooch they're selling my brooches there's some that are on the unsold box oh here's a nice monet oh yeah it says put a brooch on me please i should be careful i don't want to bend the pen before i offer it to you for sale but i think if i go where the knot is i'll be fine where it's tight you just got to get in between the stones yeah 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 that works yeah did you come open no okay i should have went through both of them but it's not going to hang quite right until I put both of them in there. It's a little big for this necklace, right? <laughs> you get the idea. Oh, my early days on YouTube. I just, that's what I did. Almost all my sales is sit and play with the pearls and brooches and beads. Putting stuff together. Well, so I love doing that, honestly. This is a nice Monet brooch. We're going to pass on the Joan Rivers. I don't want to spend too long on stuff. This is a Monet brooch. And I don't think this is mesh. I think this is just texturing on here. Let me look. Yes, it's just a, it's like rope. It's textured to look like rope. You know, I've been using the same camera all along and it hasn't been, it hasn't done this. It just started this past Saturday. It got, it got bad. Well, actually it was, no, it's not true. That was yesterday. It started being wacky. 
No, it was Wednesday. I forgot what day I even came on. This is a nice rope texture. The Monet writing is here. Very nice. This looks like about probably a little over two inches. And it is just shy of two and a half, right at two and a half inches. And on the Monet, I will do a starting bit of this one. It's a nice big brooch. It does have a dome. That look great on pearls. <laughs> Lucky for y'all, have no pearls handy. Actually, I do. <laughs> Let me give you a price on that. I'm going to start at five. It is gorgeous. Yep, let's play. Let's play. I might as well have a good time. And that's what I like to do. I like these big clasps because you can utilize them to put your brooches on them. I love brooches on pearls. It's it's the thing. It's the thing. Come on, get on there. Cooperate. Thank you. Yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Ah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I just love that. I love that. I love that. You're looking. Oh, you have the same one. Cool. It's nice. I like the rope texture. I like it with pearls. This is a trip. This is a triple strand. So these are already together. So this actually makes it hang to where it looks like multiple individual strands, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. I sold that big lot of um, Monet online. That's pretty, 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 pretty. And I missed a bunch of pieces that they didn't get. Plus, I didn't want to make it too big of a lot. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to say we're going to pass on this one. So, we'll pass on the Monet. <laughs> what am I wearing? I'm going to realize I have something around my neck. This is really light, though. It's not bothering my neck. All right, we'll do these. These are pretty. Nice big pearls. They are not tight or anything. These are truly custom, custom. I see a little string sticking out that there. But when it's at the end like that, you're usually okay to snip it off because it's usually where they brought the cord back. Because when you do beading at the end, you bring it quite a ways back, actually. I would. I did. And it goes back up inside other beads. That's got some stretch right there. I am not sure I trust this, guys. That's where that string is. It's still string there. And it's got quite a bit of stretch. And it happens to be on that same one. I think that's better going to craft. I'm, a, I'm scared they might break on somebody. I really am. Not loving the look of that. All right. This is a cute set. Unmarked. Make sure my memory's not failing me that they're unmarked. Yep. It's got a fold over clasp. Oops. I just clicked on something accidentally. All right, so you've got the necklace. Got these cool dangles. Groovy dangles. And here's your bracelet. Dangle this. <laughs> so you've got your necklace and your bracelet. Let me give you the measurement on the bracelet. That's pretty. And you've got good movement with that, too. Cool. There we go. That's good. Cool beans. You may have to juge it. Why are you hanging funny? Come here. I don't want to sell something that's not right. What is it done? There it goes. Okay. It was just jacked up on the spring ring, on the um, jump ring. 
Come on, get on there. This one is six and three quarters. The six and three quarters falls dead in the center. Yep, this is nice. It's a cute set. All right, let me get a measurement on that necklace. It looks like 18. It might be 17. We shall see. Come on, Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's 18 inches. So this one, and I'll do a start bit on the set. We're going to stick with our $8. Sounds good. Sounds good. Very pretty set. Very pretty. Unmarked. A folder or clasp on both. Very nice. It's a pretty set. Prettiness. Oh, I already got something on, don't I? I'll stop playing. I'll stop playing. <laughs> you know, when I used to work, and plus I used to go out quite a bit, too. I guess we all do, we younger. I guess we all go through the same thing, right? So eight on the set. It's a great price on that. I just don't anymore. We got to dinner. We do it like car shows, maybe people's houses, but yeah. Yep. All right, pass it on that. What's in the pink bag? I think this is somebody's. Nope. Oh, this is pretty. I think it says Czechoslovakia. Let's see if my memory is right. Yeah. The whole spell, the whole word spelled out Czechoslovakia. So you got your Austrian crystal voice is pretty. Very, very pretty. Am I missing a stone? No, it's there. There it is. I'm like, why can't I see it in the camera? Without the light, it's bad, but with the light, it's so blingy that it's just losing it. It's losing it. If I'd be still a minute. Try to leave the light off of it, Mel. Gosh. This camera's going to be the death of me. Very pretty. They're, oh, they are prong set. Yep. All right, so the Austrian. Yeah, I did think about that earlier. I thought, yeah, it'll block me. It'll block me from being in the in view. You grab a box lid. I have a box lid. That should work, right? See, I can't see to know if it's working. It's hard to do the yeah i'm not that coordinated stuff maybe the necklaces would be one thing all right anyway i'm gonna start with this one at five that's a super nice austrian or czechoslovakian excuse me czechoslovakian czech brooch it's pretty all these little rhinestones that is so pretty sharon's like oh yes she's a brooch lover Definitely brooch lover. I had forgotten about that. About how much I used to play with the... Because all I did in the beginning was vintage. I'd have some sterling, you know, once in a while. And I brought my own stuff. But, yeah, in the beginning it was mostly... It was all vintage. And I played in the jewelry all the time. <laughs> I mean, it was the normal thing. I'm sitting there with the pearls and beads and playing with brooches. I should list this. Put it in my to-do giant money pile. Not call it a death pile. It's a money pile. All right, I'm going to start calling this for Sharon. 
I'm glad someone appreciates them. I think people just don't know how to wear brooches anymore. They don't realize. Put it on a bobby pin or something. Put it in your hair. Headbands and take a lot of the, you know, the thick, like, cotton lead headbands. Put, like, two together. And put the small scatter pins on them. Look at Gina Gay. She does it. She still does it. She still puts pins and brooches on the, um, it makes these great, great costume headbands. Eclectic, my ele eclectic friend. <clears throat> All right, Soldier Sharon. Yeah, five is great on that piece. Well, I'm being really low on everything today, so why not quit hoarding? <laughs> Stop hoarding. I need to find a chain for this. This is old, old. Old, old Murano glass. This is super old. I need to find, I know, I have gold filled chains. I need to find them. That is a nice pendant. I have the earrings too. I don't know if they're exact match though. But the rod work on this is fabulous. This is good. This is old. This is probably 50s, probably from the tourist trade. That would be my best guess. Mm-hmm. I was looking to just see if I have, I have sterling chains. Can I put any cold filled over here? Uh, oh, this looks like it's got fine stones on it. Of course, I can't get it out. That would be too much to ask. I don't have any here. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> Who knows? I'll run across them. This is so cute. Not very big. Maybe an inch. Maybe. Yeah, it's an inch. I have nothing to hold it with. I shouldn't even have brought it without a chain, honestly. I should have just waited. I'm not on the... There you go. The rod work on this is extremely good. This is good, old... That's from the tourist trade, I'm sure. All right, so on the little, I'll start it low as hell. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, Steph likes it. It's colorful, like you. Of course, all you ever see Steph wear is her Starbucks necklace. It is the coolest multi strand, multicolored necklace. <laughs> it's so funny. She got it at Starbucks. Everybody loves that thing. <laughs> it's like Starbucks. <laughs> they probably do make good jewelry, though. I mean, you've had a long time, so it's holding up. Okay, so it's obviously well made. It looks good. It's very pretty. It suits you. It suits you. It's You're an old hippie. It suits you. <laughs> I know. It takes one to know one, right? Yep. I'm old hippie, too. <laughs> I'm going to call this for <laughs> Yeah, that was a nice one. So. <laughs> and call this once. Going twice. Fair warning. It's all the stuff at five. Yeah, I hope you have a gold, at least a gold tone chain would be fine for this. Anything. I do have some gold filled ones. Lord knows what I did. They're probably hanging in my, actually, they're probably hanging in my jewelry or more, most likely. Here's that France bracelet. I wanted to put a bigger jump ring on it because the ring that's on there is so small. It has, um, actually, it doesn't have a ring. It has a hole in the coin that you have to, have to try to get. These are all World War. I bought this from Tanya years ago, like almost two years ago or two years ago. These are all coins, all French coins, and they're all from um, World War II era, which is interesting, to say the least. I was drawn to it, but I like stuff like that. This is 1941. So is this one. And my eyeballs go. 1940, 41. Wrong side. Let me get the one that I broke the top off of. Like, 
1939, 1940 again, 1941, the big one is 1941, and this is two francs, the big one, and the small ones are, um, I think they're 50 cents. 50 I feel so embarrassed I can't speak this but some centime c e n t i m e s or is it 50 cents maybe maybe it's 50 cents probably because that's probably the root word right right so anyway it's got the old springman class but it does have a small 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 nub it looks gold-filled. it's not marked but look at the color i mean it's just got that It's got that color. Anyway, my camera sucks, guys. Anyway, here's the bracelet. And see how it goes inside. It it just goes in this hole. This side has a jump ring. It came this way. I was going to stick another jump ring on it. Like everything else, I don't do it. I haven't done it. So it just goes inside this hole. It does work. I actually did manage to get it on, but I just thought it was cool because of the age and because, you know, I don't know, it's kind of historic to me. I'm going to say six and three quarters. It's not reaching seven. Six and three quarters. You might want to go six and a half because you're going to need room to clasp it. I think it's a neat piece. These rings don't look the same as far as the gold feels. I'm more if this is just rubbed shiny. It might just be copper. Come think of it. This class could be. Probably is. That's why it looks copper colored like nine carat gold or gold fills. It might be just be copper, which would make sense too. All right. I'll quit talking about it. Well, hi, Laura. I'm glad you made it today. So, Laura, this is all 1940 to 40, what was it, 1940 to 1941, all these coins, 1939 to 1941, they're um, francs and cents, so, frankincense. <laughs> I did, I wiped the lens earlier, I don't know. It's annoying to say the least. Maybe it's because this a lot of this vintage stuff is shiny or something. Because I do sterling all the time. The sterling it focuses fun. But sterling's duller. Well, my sterling is because it's oldness. I'm not shy. I don't overshine it. I don't overclean it. Anyway, I'm gonna start this one at 40. I paid 45 for it. <laughs> I got some Tanya. I think it probably should have a ring there, but then again, it does close, but I think it should have a jump ring. I don't have any copper ones. I got some brass ones. I got some brass ones. I think it's neat. I don't know. Maybe I overpaid. I didn't think so. I thought historically, if nothing else, I guess maybe there's a lot of these coins. I don't know. Maybe I did overpay. I was intrigued by it, but that's me. I like old stuff. I always have, but you know, my mom was a flea marketer and a yard seller. And when I was a kid back in the day, there were still a lot of um, old cabins and shacks and houses that were just empty out in the country. We'd just pull over, you know, going through georgia and like kentucky south and north Carolina, we just pull off the road and go walk in these old houses and we find so much neat old stuff old mason jars a lot of stuff like that all those old um irons that are just the big cast irons that you just set in the fireplace or put the coals um all kind of stuff like that old cast iron and my dad would throw it in the fire and, uh, you know, get it red hot and clean it. This is cool. I should put this in my 2B repair to go ahead and break down and just put this doggone brass ring on there. Put the brass jump ring on that thing and be done with it and actually wear it. It's a little big. 
Would I dare take out a coin? No, but I might be able to put, maybe I should put a different type of clasp on it that I can hook somewhere else. Hey, that's a solution. This is antique. Uh, I thought the chain that someone had, it had been broken and they put it back together incorrectly. But then I saw Jason doing these type of chains and they were weird like this. Yeah, it goes overhead. In other words, this side is different from this side. So this link, this is definitely probably Art Deco. Yeah, probably in between the probably in between Victorian Art Deco. So, but see their difference how these links are he had a name i just watched this too he had a name for this type of link something and go something like this um they are from 1931 to 1940 1939 to 1941 so 39 to 41 So I see how this side is different, but he showed an antique piece it was like that. This is glass. It does not glow. It is amber glass. So it's glass. It's heavy. And it comes down. Kind of like a precursor to lav lavaliers, right? This one is a lavalier style too. Let me see if I can find the clasp this time. Yay! That's a pretty one. So, yeah, this is cool. I'm glad I caught that one. Of course, I do watch all his videos, but sometimes I have, I have to watch reruns. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, hon. Thank you so much. Oh, I put it in my repair. Ah. Uh. Took me a minute. Clutch my head. Let me just mark this down. I'm glad someone else appreciates it. I'm just drawn to stuff like that. Don't ask me why. And no, I don't watch all those. Well, I, saw, I, mean, I have in the past, so I did watch all those World War II stuff. So yeah, I can't say oh, I didn't watch that stuff. This is another one of those studio art pieces. This is a, um, a studio out of Oregon. I think it's Portland. And these are opals. These are little tiny opals. Oh, what's her name? Ta not Tatiana. Something like that. But they're called something opal. Then they have a name. Oh, what is it again? I think this is on Sterling, too. I haven't looked at this in a minute. And it's dirty now. What's it called? I want to say it's something to do with, like, astronomy. <laughs> Don't ask me what. I'll check the. I need to get my. It's a lobster. It's just dirty. And these are opals. It's another one that does the work in bronze. But it's not overly heavy. It's not very thick. This does not come off the chain. Yeah, so these are little pink opals. Come on, camera. Catch your head. This is one I can try the paper with. I can try the box lid, and I do have a piece of paper if that doesn't work. I'll try this. I have to peek to see if it's working, though. 
making it orange. It's making my whole hand orange. I have these strips I caught. Is that going to be big enough to make it happy? But they're pink. I'm going to assume Peruvian opals because they're the ones that are pink. It has a name. It has a name. Twin Flames. Uh, it has a name. Anyway, let me put a starting bid on this thing. I'm going to do a stupid price on this. I'll do 20 on it. I'll tell you the name. It'll know it. I can't believe it's not marked. It must be somewhere. I'm just not finding it. And I need to get my sterling test. Let's see if it's sterling. Hmm. I found it before. Let me try a better picture. Put it on the neck. Anyway, I'll find the name of it. I need to check that, see if it's sterling real quick. Oh, let me stick it on the neck. I get a better picture. Come on, I did take a picture. Don't be ridiculous. There it is. Oh. Don't tell me you don't have the name. Cosmic Twin. Thank you. <laughs> uh Sorry, this item is sold out. It was, I like I said, 98. Yeah. Out of stock, out of stock. Anyway, it's showing up 98 bucks. I don't know that it's sold for that. It's showing out of stock. Who knows? But it's called Cosmic Twin. Oh, hang on. Let me get, see if it is sterling or not. Ah. Uh, yeah, it is. I thought it was. I thought it was. Oh, I'm going to reuse my little napkin. So it is sterling. It's just dirty, guys. It shouldn't have been in this box. I'll get it out of there. Yeah, it's called Cosmic Flame. So this is sterling, bronze, and opals. Pretty, pretty. It's cool. It's cool. It doesn't have a mark on it at all, which is interesting. Let me see. Oh. Looks like it's 18. Wrong side, dude. The drop on it is 18 inches. Well, it's a nine inch drop, but you know, say so. Says so eighteen. Twin flame. That was close. <laughs> not really right. Like, no, you weren't. It's not astrological. So eighteen inches. I can only remember that it's Oregon. I think Portland. I found the information about the studio and stuff before, but that's been a long time ago. And now they're out of stock. So, yeah, you can dig and probably find out a lot more about the artist than I did. It's nice. It's different, right? It is different. I'm going to start calling this for Sandy. I don't see any other interest. And again, I don't think my lag is that long. It usually runs maybe 30 seconds, if that long. That's a long one. Thank you, Sandy, honey. Sorry it's so dirty, but it'll clean up. But it is sterling. It is sterling. 
this sterling ring in there. A lot of this stuff should not be just hanging out in this box. So that's why I need to get through it and rescue all this stuff. Okay. Hey, Joni, baby. This is naked now. You can go over here. She can go live there. That's a sterling ring. That's a sterling ring. I might as well do them. This is carnelian. That are very, very orange red citrine. This one is five and three quarters. So five and three quarters on this one. So I'm a five. This is my six. It doesn't go on a six. You'd probably be safer at five and a half on this. I mean, five and three quarters. Yeah. I, mm, no. It's saying five and three quarters on the thing. So maybe you can, since our fingers are squishy. Who knows? Saying five and three quarters. Man, it's just not focusing. Even on my hand, it's not working. <laughs> Hi, Yolanda. Oh, it's been a long time, girl. So it's like a bypass. It's kind of geometric, isn't it? Anyway, on this ring, size five and three quarters is what it says on the mandrel. Five and a half. Okay, so on this one, anybody wants this ring? You can have this ring for 10 bucks. We want it. It is sterling. That's probably carnelian. It could be citrine. Sometimes citrine is really orange like this. No, it's not going to citrine. So, yes, it's um, carnelian. Five and three quarters. You could size it. Man, it's never been sized. Nope. Let's see if anybody claimed it. It is open back. I just see the 925. I don't see any other markings on this. So five and three quarters. It absolutely does not go on a six. No. I'm a true six. But on my big five, I could get away with it. I don't think it's going to fall off or anything. Because this one runs about five and a quarter. It's, it's more poofy. Your dominant hand is slightly bigger than your other hand. It's not bad. I saw another ring over here. Oh, this is pretty. This is a little heart. How did I miss these in my clearance? You're pretty. I can't tell if this is red or black. I'm going to say black. Yeah. Are you onyx or tourmaline or obsidian? What are you? Tourmaline. Oh, it's a little tourmaline ring. What size are you, dear? It's another small one. That one feels a little bigger. This one's a six. It says it's a six. We'll see. We'll see. It's snug. It's fine, but it's snug. That's got a really pretty design, though, doesn't it? I do the same thing to the ring. So just ditto. Ditto, ditto on the rings. Yeah, it's snug coming over my um, knuckle. It's very snug. So, yeah, down here it does fit a six. It's a little snug. I'll put this back on. Let's see if I can, a miracle of God, this will focus. Uh, really pretty design with little hearts. Flanking the sides. Very pretty. Tourmaline. That's very nice. Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. Let's see if anybody claimed it. Let's see. I just see a 925. That's it. I don't want to try to put that on my... It is pretty. It's small, though. 
it says six, but Steph, I do I mean this is a lot thinner than this knuckle, so I do have arthritis, so you might be fine. Once I get over a knuckle, it's fine. It says six. It goes on my six fine here. Getting over my knuckle is a little bit of an issue though, but my knuckle is swollen from my arthritis. So yeah, it's on a six. So it says six. And then this one, see this did turn. So maybe it is five and three quarters. It is pretty loose. So five and three quarters was right on this. Yeah, so they're both small. Five and three quarters and six. I mean, mark the bags. I use smaller bags. I use my bags for the rings I don't need. Uh, I won't make you guys wait for me to do that. I'm just going to move these over here. Get over there. All right, so we're passing on both the rings. That's loose, right? Oh, yeah, that's a fold over clasp, skull tone findings. Oh, <laughs> wow, it had it for a split second, right? And then it lost it. This is horrible. So, you got gold tone findings, fold over clasp. This feels and sounds like loose height. I know it's brown, but you can kind of tell. Yeah, it's got that greenish kind of look to it. I'm going to say it is. It's lucite. It feels like it. Sounds like it. Yeah. And it's the faux tortoise. This is a cool one. That's neat. I love the sound. <laughs> I'm going to start this one. Uh, I'll start at six bucks. <laughs> I love the sound of this. Very cool. Let me get you linked on this. Oh, that's got to be 24, 26 inches all day long. It's nice. I like the gold tone hardware, too. It's cool. Actually, it's longer. It's 30 inches. A tad longer, actually. So it's a little over 30 inches. Very cool. Extremely, extremely, extremely lightweight. That's really neat. I like the sound. I like the sound. That's a neat one. I'm going to call pass on it. Change your mind. Let me know. This is so cool. This is so industrial looking. So, if I had to guess, I'd call this 1970s with that satin gold finish. No marking whatsoever, but this is very er Edwin Pearl. So, in this is so industrial. Very Edwin Pearl. Maybe it's the light. Because it's pretty bright in here. Because it's at the French doors there. and Floor to ceiling windows there. So, eh, a lot of light. See a little bit of wear in here. It may or may not clean up. You never know with the gold finish. That is so cool. And the way it's made in a pen, of course you can wear this either way. That'd be cool to feed your chain through. <laughs> like, don't start. Don't start, Mel. Of course I'm going to. Or not, because I can't get this loose. Doggone it. Doggone it. Anyway, isn't this cool? So, <laughs> anybody wants this one? Isn't that the neatest ever? And that is, that's that satin gold, like that KJL brace necklace I have. It's the same kind of satiny finish. I'm going to search this little booger. I can't believe it's not signed. It's so cool. Very industrial. So I'm going to say 70s on this piece. It's got to be from the 70s. It's like three and a quarter inches. Very cool. I'll do it at four bucks. Faux dollars. It would be fun to feed beads through there, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, Mel. That would be fun. It would be. It absolutely would be. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> I don't have any handy. 
I've got some that don't open here. They're actually carnelian beads. All right, they're all stuck together. All my little gemstone necklaces are all stuck together. All right, just for shits and grins, okay? I'm going to just see. Just see, just see, just see. Oh, my God, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. Ah, I like that. It's kind of neat. Hmm. Let me find one with a clasp. Probably look really good with orange, right? I like orange and gold together. Pretty. All right, I'll quit playing. <laughs> Temporarily. <laughs> good thing I didn't, like, go through all this stuff before. I'd still be playing in it. I'd still, I'd still be just messing around with it, pulling out all the messages and beads and playing with them. <laughs> <sighs> absolutely I can't that's not sign I when I saw that I remember thinking when I first saw it I think it was in a bag or something and I'm thinking that looks like urban pearl that's probably urban pearl what are you oh you're nice this is a micro mosaic go tone this one's not marked Italy. Let me check, make sure all the chips are there because it's tiny. It's true micro mosaic. It's little bitty. It's little bitty. I lost my eyeballs. There it is. Light, please. Wow, this is nice. Really pretty. Orange, blue, white, green. I don't see anything missing. These are neat slices, too. Yeah, it is fun. I do, too, stuff. It is inspiring. It's like after this now, because we're going out. I don't know if it's this weekend or next. We're going to dinner with friends at the um, es Espinosa's Great Italian. This is really good. This is a good one. Um, I'm gonna put the pass in there for whatever that was. Oh, the industrial looking brooch. This is nicely done. Um, damn it. <laughs> this is, I'll start this at 15, which is stupid low, but I'm not wearing it. Look how small these are. This is a nice one. The gold. Oh, my camera. I'm pushing my camera off accidentally. Okay. I'm, not, I'm so not coordinated, guys. I'm terrible, aren't I? Here's the back. I could use a polish. This is a nice one. Really pretty. I need to find my pillow so I can hold my brooches up on the pillow. Hold things up on the pillow. So I need to hold this like in front of a piece of paper. It's going to be impossible. I can try. I can't see, so I don't know if I'm focused or not. That's better. It's better. I got such such cotton in the mouth. I shouldn't have taken that cannabis. It must be because it's the bottom of the damn bottle. Because I'm telling you, I'm like, wow. I mean, I'm goofy, but I'm a little goofier than normal. I love this. It's really pretty. Should not be in a box. That's for sure. I need to put this away or at least stored much better than that. I'm lucky all the stones were in there. All the little pieces of stones were in there. This is a cool, funky piece. It's crystal. I don't know what the stone is. It is a natural stone. I could guess a name. This looks like fire agate in the top. 
me see if that's actual stone though, because it feels slick. It is. Okay, so I guess a fire agate. This is a tip of a deer antler, and they don't go out and harvest these. They fall all over the woods up north in, in Appalachians. This is probably Appalachian. All right, we're passing on the micro mosaic. This is cool. So this is a quartz crystal. I could guess at 20 different types of stone that you can find up there. Don't know if that is sterling or not. Sure looks like it. Probably would be. These pieces typically are. Yep. All right, so these findings are sterling, so this probably likely is too. Although it's easier to get um, silver plated wire because I think pure silver wire might be kind of fragile. I don't know. I only used the plated when I used to make jewelry. I never used solid, so I wouldn't think you would. Yeah, it's got a real coppery rub. So that's probably just silver plate, this wire. I can't see using real silver. It's too soft. But this is nice leather. So this is all hand done. It is sterling. So, um, This one, this is a really cool piece. I don't remember what I paid on it. I got this from, uh, who was it, Leslie. I never wore it. I thought it was really cool. I think this is fire agate. It is stone, so it's got to be fire agate. Because it's giving me all those, um, it's throwing that fire. I should have priced it way higher. Fire agate's rather costly for the ones that has good fire this one actually does it's not going to show i had a really nice fire agate ring doris got it but this one does have i can show you get you get it in the light just right you can see that see that it does have fire in there so i'm pretty sure it's the fire agate yeah look at that it's like a, the agate to the fire opal is the fire agate it's 20 is the start on this day. It's super low. It's neat. And this is sterling. It's marked, but I can tell the sterling looking at it too. It is cool, right? I think it's great. That's a neat, that's a pretty stone. This is very smooth. They give you a length on this. It's at as long as it can get right now, so. Looks pretty short, but you would wear this short. You don't want this horn down. Here, you stab yourself. Oh, <laughs> got a deer horn in, this, in my sternum. They are handy. You got to know stones anyway, because it doesn't show me um, like tourmaline. I mean, it shows you that's in the range. It doesn't show you every type of agate or stone. You just have to know when it goes above the glass and what your choices are. And just have to know stones by their color you know, just the composition and stuff. Hey, Lori, that's 16 inch drop. And then you've got the horn. I thought my nephew would like it. He has zero interest. It's uh, the horn is three and a half inches long. I really thought that my nephew would like it. What am I wearing? Oh, it's so light. I didn't even notice it. I saw myself in the in the camera. I'm like, what the heck? That's neat. I love the sound of that already. Cool. Anyway, so 16 inch drop. Sterling findings. This is silver plated wire, which is normal. It's, you know, silver is too soft to do that with. I would wear this shorter, actually, up here. Oh, glad you made it, Lori. That tells me it must be later than I think. Yeah, it's 5.30. <laughs> yeah, I like this as a choker. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're going to pass on the deer antler, sterling stuff. 
All right. That's so funny that you're here, Yolanda. You were the one that was giving me some help in trying to track this down. Moroccan, whatever. This is so unusual. This is the door knocker, but the thing is, most of these are either very small, like the size of this or smaller, or they're bigger, like the size of my hand at the smallest that they put on their actual door. That's a door knocker. I bought this in my 20s. I'm not bullshit, and I've had this like 40 freaking years. It's not sterling. It's not, it's one of those mixes, metal mix. It is so cool. So it's the ham Sahan door knockers. It's so weird. I can't find anything like it. Even the small ones don't have this. The big ones do, but the ones they actually go on their door. Hey, I knew coming on early I was going to miss some people, but people watch the reruns. I mean, I just fast forward and, you know, wait to see if it's sold. Anyway, I'm going to start this really stupid low for what it is. I mean, I've had it for freaking 40 years, so I bought it at a, I think it was, what was that store? Goodwill. At a Goodwill. It's so unusual. You can find the big ones. But one this size. When I bought it, it was on like a cord. I don't have any cords. I had some. They were in that lot that I gave to um that um Janie got. This is Pandora, so I <laughs> don't want to use that cord. I see Lori at 15. Yeah, they're pretty valuable, but I couldn't find anything like this one. Hey, Joanna. Thanks, you guys, for showing up. I know it was early as heck today. So I'm glad you guys are stopping in after your busy days. Isn't that funny? It's a miniature door knocker. Can find them teeny tiny and big, but not this size. I shouldn't have never taken off the cord. I had I took off a cord and I put it on. It was like a it wasn't copper. It was like a brass, almost like a torque, but not quite. Let me get a measurement on this. Looks like three inches. Oops, turn it around, woman. Yeah, it's like yeah, so just tad it were three inches. Well, hey, Janie. I was getting her stuff together. I was going to like look and see what was cheaper to do the cubic mail or do the, um, I see join at 25 or do the um, flat rate small box. Because I did add more stuff to that box. I filled up the box as well as I could. And that's when I realized you've got so much. Just do another auction. You've got too much stuff. <laughs> I see Lori at 26. I almost emptied that bucket, though. I got your box stuffed. <laughs> you got your money's worth, Janie. <laughs> so it's, yeah, to me, I don't know. I guess you could hang this on your door. I I wore it on, my, on a cord. And then that, like, brass um, choker thing. <laughs> the see Lori at 26 so Joanna you interested or are you out Lori's at 26 Joanna's at 27 yeah I don't know you guys don't know Tampa but it was Drew Park I lived in a great part of town I was like 18 19 years old not even in my 20s to come to think about it as I left my first husband and when I was 23, so I might have been t right at 20 or under 20 because I moved over there when I was 18 with him. All right, I'll call this for Joanna. Thanks, Joanna. So, yeah, this thing's been around, and it's funny that she was in here. 
Yolanda, because she was the one before had, you know, the comments were was, um, talking about what it might be because, you know, she'd actually gotten closer than just Morocco, but yeah, we'll get now. I slept since then. <laughs> it's been a minute. <coughs> I couldn't find anything like it. I could find small ones. They didn't have the knocker. They just had the hand. Who knows? Pretty cool. Thank you, Joanna. <laughs> Janie, it's a lot. It's a bunch. It's a bunch of stuff. All right. Oh, Lori came back at 28. You said out, and you came back. Okay, Lori came back. <laughs> You're a trip. She must have looked. I know, I know, but I'm I'm really cheap today. I'm trying to sell stuff. <laughs> Some of the things I'm shocked didn't sell. Like, damn, how much? But I guess if you don't want it, you don't want it. See, I think too much like a seller, you know, when I'm looking at stuff. Buy stuff, even if it's not for me, because I can sell it. So there's a difference. I have to remember that. So I'm like, wow, yeah, but nobody bought it. <laughs> but yeah, if it's free to wear, it's a big difference. Ooh, these are pretty. It's okay, Lori. <laughs> See, Lori at 31. Why are you getting fuzzy now? Nothing happened. I've been good. I've been perfectly still. Well, not. Perfectly still. I see Joanna at 35. I'm glad you guys like it. It is really cool. It's unique. I like different. I like stuff that's unique. Different, old, handmade, studio stuff. I'm a junkie for it. Oh, Steph, it is cool, right? Funky cool. I was in love with it. I thought I was the coolest thing. I was all that in a slice of bread wearing this because I knew it was really cool. I didn't know as much. I didn't know an iota compared to what I know now. I knew quite a bit. I was my mom. Um, Because, again, she was a thrifter. You know, she sewed. She did all the stuff. All right. Thank you for bidding, honey. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Joanna. Wear it in good health. You ain't got to worry about running to somebody wearing the same thing. I'll tell you that right now. It won't happen. You're not going to have somebody else wearing this. Uh-uh. Can't find them. I could never find it trying to get a comp on it when I decided to finally let it go. In my... In my yuppie era, huh? Miss Queen Bee. I think this is this is sterling. Why is it in my costume? I know this is sterling. And it's Mother of Pearl. Oh, because it's got a little smooge in the front. I can probably, I don't know, might be able to get it out. I don't feel it. I don't know. Maybe it can be. I can't guarantee it. It could be forever there. Yep, that's why it's in there, because of the smooch in the front. I'm particular. <laughs> and the chain is stuck in the great key. There you go. This is a very fine chain. Okay, it's got an extender. It's permanently on there. It's not its shortest right now. It's a very, very skinny chain. And then it's got the great key with the mother of pearl. Are you Sterling? I'm thinking you were Sterling for some reason. Maybe I had one that was just like it. Now I'm not seeing any reason why I thought that. Oh, there it is. 925, and that's got something next to it. I can't read that. Looks like maybe a letter. And cursive or something. Or symbol. 
I don't know, guys. Can't read it. I'm sure someone with good vision can read it, so it is Mark Sterling. Okay. I checked the chain just to be sure. Yeah, okay. I mean, I remembered it, but I had to be sure because I could have had something similar. I've had a lot of Greek keys in my time. Yeah, okay. Okay. Looks like it's 18 before the extender. Let's see. I'll show you the smooch. It's 18 inches and then a two inch extender. I'll show you the smooch. So it is um, Vermeer Sterling, 18 inches. It's a very fine chain. And it's a Greek key with the mother pearl. See the middle? See it right there? In the dead middle, it's got like a abrasion. Abrasion. Because of that. Oh, bye, Sandy. Thank you so much. I'll see you Sunday. <laughs> I will see you Sunday. I'll see you. You won't see me. Let's see that. I don't know that it'll come out. I've never tried. I mean, it doesn't rub off. It's not like you're going to regular cloth polish it off. That's not going to happen. I, pre I had to try that. I mean, you'd think I would have done that much, right? Yeah, I think it's inside the actual shell or something. I want to make sure you see it. Okay, anyway. Because of that, as to the cost of the chain, this is not silver. Someone put this on there. But does it have a spring ring? I can take it off. No. Someone opened it and actually put it on the chain. So this extender is not sterling. It doesn't even look like the chain. But someone did put an extender on there. Let me get a paper so you can see this. I want you to see the smooch. Oh, I never put the price. Sorry about that. I'll do the cost of this to chain alone. So I want you to see it. I think you can. Right in the middle. It's got a smudge. I don't know if that would come off or not. I mean, I don't know. I guess a heavy polish would do it. Maybe that Nova stuff or something. Jeez, it's not focusing even on my hand. Anyway, I think you can see it. Let me get up. I'm not, oh, I'm swelling a tiny bit, but not bad. Like I said, though, I don't know why. I shouldn't be poofing up. Oh, pretty. I'm going to start calling this for Sharon because I haven't seen any other interest. Let's go on once to Sharon. Go on twice to Sharon. I'm going to call this so to Sharon. At seven... Thank you, thank you, madam. Hope it comes out. I do, I do. Hope it comes out. All right. These are expensive, but if you love this stuff, you love this stuff. Boy, are these great. These are really nice. These are St. John. They're um, gold tone. And these are actually, I think these were acrylic and not glass. Nope, they're glass. Okay. They're St. John. They're marked here. Great shape. Upside down. Fantastic condition. Really clean. Really good. These are good ones. Nice big. Got the rope design. Black glass. And they're pretty big too. These are really nice statement earrings. Really super nice. They're like almost an inch and a half. Right at it. I'm sure they said they were inch and a half. Really nice. St. John. I mean, mark those so so we get some separation so I don't get confused here. Um, I will start these St. John's super low at 20. 
These are like $60 earrings. Easy. Easy, easy. Nice and big. Yeah, St. John's are expensive, but they're so well made. Extremely, extremely well made. These are classics. These are classics. Yeah, this is, these are like all business. <laughs> these are like serious earrings. Yeah, really nice. Super, super nice. I love them. St. John's, 20 bucks. It's a steal. An absolute steal. These I definitely need to get listed. <laughs> definitely. I'll put them over here. I need to walk around. Oh, I got terrible sticky mouth. Be putting my fingers in it. That's disgusting. <laughs> Here are you. Uh, this is dyed halite or turquoise glass. Some of the others, not turquoise. Turquoise glass. Got rhinestone halo around it. It is a clip back. And are you signed? No, ma'am. How big are you? How big are you? Oh, wrong end. These are a little like an inch and a quarter. These are nice. They are turquoise glass. They're not real turquoise. All the stones on the halo is there. Really pretty. This glass. Good grief. These are pretty. There you go. I can finally see them. These are neat. All right. So we're going to pass on the St. John earrings. No jewelry junkies here. And I will start these at four. Nice. These are well made. These feel good. These feel real nice. It's just texture. It's got that uh, texture. I thought maybe something was there. It's not. It's in good shape. <coughs> you know, I will start these. I'm going to just put these in a bite now on these because I really don't want to put this stuff away. I'll do them for two bucks just to just to not put another pair of earrings away. I don't have to do another earring a lot. I have so many. I have so many earrings. I have a whole organizer full of vintage clip-on earrings I didn't even bring. It's a whole one of things. It's a square. The whole thing's full. I started to grab it and thought, no, you have so much already. Yeah, these are pretty. These are really cute. All right, let me put something that maybe you guys can bid on. I'll start low. What can I do? What's a good one that I can hang and walk away from? Oh, this is gorgeous. I wore this actually quite a bit. This is a, this is a brooch piece for sure. I mean, for me. I wore it with a brooch, but that's me. This is beautiful seed bead, gold beads, lobster paw, so it adjusts. This thing is really long. I think it's 36. It can go down. I think it's 32 to 36 if memory serves. Now this one is super long. I like to take this one and gather it. And I have these big gold well, brass. They're, they're Actually, they're antiques. Um, is this the one with the replaced pen? Yes, this one they replaced the pen. It's got the really early locking clasp on this one. Really old. And these are those ones that they did that were probably 
I won't guess if it was wax or what it was, but these are cast. The way they're built is very interesting, how the frame is done, how they attach this part of the frame. I'll bring this next. This is how I always wore this. is with a big brooch to bring it together. Um, so I don't want to do them together. So I will bring the, because it'll bump up the price because the, the um, brooch is, is antique. But that's how I wore it. You don't have to. I'm going to price this alone. It's 36 plus this length here. You're looking at probably like 40 inches on this piece. I'm going to pull this up. Oh, you're not going to see the bottom anyway. So without the brooch, I'll take this off. But that's how I like to wear it. With, with the big gold tone brooches. Why are you eating? Oh, it's because it's antique and the, the thing slides. It gets in, it's counterintuitive. You push it like closing it to open it. And opening it to close it, but that's normal face old, old, old brooches. Let me get that right. This is so pretty, guys, and it feels so nice. I love this. I got my wear out of this, so let me tell you what I wore the death out of this. <laughs> I wore this guy a lot. I need to put one of those hook things in the back of my um neck on the back of my bust. I don't have one on it. A hook on the back to hook necklaces to make them stay up. I don't have one. All right. I'm going to take a walk around. Yeah, it could. It could. You could play with this and get this more organized. I'm not going to fiddle with it too much. Because I'm going to start this low. Because I got so much use on this piece. I put six plus. Fine. Yeah, good. Do six plus. <laughs> Yeah, so, oh, sorry. Can't do things with one hand. I'm a psycho. I'm a psycho, baby. I know that's not what the song says. I'm just singing it the way I want to sing it. <laughs> that is to die for. There's a lot of length back here still. So just you can see, it's got a really nice clasp on it. It's gorgeous. Very, very long. I'm going to walk a circle just so my legs, my feet don't swell up. And hopefully you guys like it and bid on it. Or, well, if not, I guess so well. And then I'll bring this next. So, um, I've had this forever. So anybody who's interested in the and it is antique. Alright. So I will just put this on there. It's big. It's four inches. That big that brooch is. I cannot type. And the brass brooch. It's four inches. Okay. I'm ready to just let this go. So I will put both these up. And Jesus, this is stupid, but I'm going to put 15 on it. That's like a, less than a third of its price, but it's okay. I've worn it so much. It'll shine up nice. It's been in this box. The high points are still shining. This does shine up. It shines up really pretty. It's not too awful bad now, but yeah, it gets shinier. So these are great together, though. I'm going to just stand here playing, aren't I? Mm-hmm. These are really good together. So I keep wanting to put them together. This is fantastic together. Just you can do this with it too. You can do this, you know, the sideways thing. You can grab it in the middle. Just they go together. They look good together. That big Monet brooch looks good on that thing too. Just put it on one side. So a gold tone brooch works too with this. If you can just grab one side if you want to with a smaller brooch and just do one side of the necklace. Let me take this off. So at least I'm standing. I can kind of walk in place, right? Man, this thing keeps, I have it on the edge of my computer. It's why it keeps smelling. It's the only way to get it in camera without shoving this back. Even then, it's on the edge of disaster here. But yeah, you can do a smaller brooch and just do the one side. So you could put something smaller. 
Ooh, that looked pretty against the brown. So you can put a brooch and just do one side if you don't want to gather it. So you got this one starting at what, six? I'm starting this one at 15. So they did really place the pin, but it's got a really early locking class. But it is antique. And it's brass. It's um stamped brass, or what do they call it? Um cast. It's cast. Looking at it, probably wax cast because it's really smooth. So probably wax cast. That's my best guess. Why are you whining at me, big foot? Why are you up because it's almost seven? Okay. I just realized it's almost seven o'clock. I better go. I'm frying chicken for dinner. It's going to, I'm going to be forever. It's almost seven. Good grief. I'm going to have to put it in the oven or something. All right, I'm going to put this away. So tempting, but would I wear it? I haven't worn it forever. It's doubtful. I'll leave it out so I can look at it. I'm just going to wrap it up rather than just go walk around and leave you guys hanging. Um, I'll be back Saturday night, which is tomorrow night, at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard. That's all sterling. So that's the thing I gotta do. I gotta sit and clean this silver. It is so dirty. I still have a bunch of stir um costume vintage left. And I got a lot of really cool stuff. So I will be back next Saturday at 10. And then I'll probably do Wednesday again. That was that worked out pretty good. Um at least Wednesday. I might drop recording, so who knows what I'm gonna do. I gotta get I gotta get this stuff moved. <laughs> it's getting moved from one place to the other at this point. All right, Bigfoot, I hear you. It's early for your dinner. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I should do a giveaway or something before I go. So let me do that. I didn't do a giveaway for you guys. I am a bad host. These are cool earrings. I guess I should, might should do something that's more in everybody's taste. Mm -hmm. I think these are super cool, though. <laughs> okay, this is pretty generic. This should work. All right, we're going to do this. Oh, yeah, 13. It's one of those. It's like the Monet, only way fatter. And this one's just got a big hook. So we'll put it at its shortest. But you're going to want to wear it as a collar. Well, you could wear it longer, whatever. This is at least an inch thick. I don't think this one was signed. Nope. All right, this is a nice one. This one's going to be like probably 16 to 18 inches. I need to get it as short as it'll go, though. Hang on, I'll tell you just by slipping it on. I can tell much faster. This measurement is going to be inaccurate. Yeah, you're going to be able to bring this up to a true choker to 16. All right, so it's going to be 16 at its longest. But most people like these collar necklaces, so. I think that's a good price. I think so. So just pick a number. Let me write one down. And let's just do it between one and... I already have the number in my head. A number between um one and 20. So a number between one and 20. If you're interested in the Omega collar necklace. It's a nice one. Nobody, nobody's doing it. No one cares about winning this. <laughs> Joanne, it's in Lincoln. It's somebody else. Okay. Don't see it yet. You can guess more than once because obviously there's only 13 of us here. Oh, Joanna got it. 18. So, yep. Yeah. 18. It's upside down, but it's 18. It's clearly not 81. Thank you, guys. I, thought, I have a bigger lag than I thought, so I'm like, wow, they really don't like this at all, huh? <laughs> Nobody likes it at all. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I heard hubby come in the door. So perfect timing, except the fact that I haven't cooked. 
He's forgiving. I got burgers in there. I can defrost real quick in the microwave and slap them in a pan. Make some burgers and fries. Thank you, guys. I'll hopefully see you Saturday, Saturday night at 10 p.m. And um, you're welcome to email me if there's anything that you change your mind on or whatever. It's right there. So thank you again for being here. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Good night. I'll see you.